Five. Not yet. Hey guys, welcome to Small Mouth Crush. I'm your host, Travis Mance, with my co-host, Epic Eric, and we got our guest tonight, JP. And I was just informed we might have another guest uh, later on tonight. I hope not, because I wanted to make this a quick little uh, live, a little little high, see how everyone's doing. What's, your, uh, what's your time limit? What's your ideal time limit to end this stream? Uh, Let's go. We're already talking about ending before. Okay, Let's great. Oh. 35 minutes, I might be able to make it through the whole live, ladies and gentlemen. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Well, let's go quickly then. All right, what's the update? So thanks for asking, Travis. What's do with the Bass Lab? Well, uh, since we've got 35 minutes, we need to roll through this really quickly. Brett Cartwright, MLF Big Five, top 25 finish on two colors plus one other bait. The, the River Rat Spinner Bait in the Thumper style, which I just got back in stock. Ditch Melon and Twisted Slaw. Oh, yeah. So Double Twisted dudes. Slaw. Double dudes, twisted saw, little lime green and orange on the bottom, orange kicker blade, half ounce, and ditch melon. Same thing, orange kicker blade, a little bit of white right there. He had some nice little, small little thumper tails on the back there. He said he was fishing in the dirt. He uh, he wore the paint off the skag of his trolling motor. Dude, that's how shallow he was, a foot of water. Fished for um, spotted bass limit, and then went out to some brush piles to heavy up on larger largemouth at the uh, end of the day. With, uh, I believe it was a Nico Rig Zoom Trick Worm. There you go. That's what's new the Bass Lab. Thanks for asking, Travis. Let's go. Just to follow up on what Epic Eric just said, after a mediocre first day and a 70 pl 70th place finish, he had a clutch first bite of the second day of a 5'11", which catapulted him Woo! up to the top. Put him in 26th place after day two, right? That's a 34th yeah. place jump in which, on the final day, he creeped all the way up to what? Did he finish 13th? Uh, well, no, he was 20, 24th. Oh, he finished 24th? Who did? Correct. Who are we talking about? Double Deuce, uh, Brett Carnwright. Oh, welcome to, welcome to the show, Travis. Who watches the minor league MLF series? I don't know, man. You clearly don't watch pro basketball. I don't know anything so about what, what do you exactly? What do you even care? I, I mean, all of a sudden you're league. interested. I watch you don't watch any league. Oh, uh, now you watch professional bass fishing. I'm getting pumped Dude, up, man. You're talking about outside two sides of your mouth, man. Now all of a sudden you're interested, right? Because it's the revenge of the fairy wanderers. Good job, man. Welcome to the proposed circuit. Yeah. Huh. You should be out there, dude. It's your style, man. You could be dominating out. You'd be top 10 in it. You think you could hang with those rookies? No idea. I think you're as good as they are. They spent a lot of time on them waters. Bro, I mean, maybe, yeah, okay, that's true. They got a shot at fishing those waters the year prior. But, hey, man, we're right into the discussion. Let's go. So, Travis, are you going to try to make a – now that you've seen what's going on out there, are you going to try to make a bid for the elites again? All right. Try so, to qualify through the Opens? Are you interested? Are you going to be an EQ guy? Maybe next year. 2025. Guys, mark your calendars. Travis is getting back in the game. I need two 22-inch screens, a 12-inch screen up front. What if they limit it to one? They're never going to limit it. They're never <laughs> going to limit what, what if you enter and pay all your entry fees and all of a sudden they're going, half the tour is with <laughs> scope and half the tour is not? Would you freak it out? It never will be. So all I'm you, just saying, what would you Randy do? Blockett followers and fans. No, no. What would all you do? weird fucking Eric's that are really being <laughs> weird about live scope lately. No, what would you do? Let's just have a conversation. It's not going to happen. Stop talking what? about it. I'm just asking if the technology it did, what is here to do? stay, and it's only going to get better. Why do we what? need two 22s and a 12? Just exactly. to make life easier. Hey, Travis, did you hear in 2025, Elon Musk is going to be implanting the first brain scope chip? Are you available? It's only going to be $50,000 to get the chip in your brain. Uh -huh. You won't need the glasses. You'll see your digital display through your eyeballs. Are you interested? Hmm. I'll let the it's brain, work the it's brain scope. First. Are you going to do it? Yeah, yeah they have, a lot of stuff if, going on in 2024. If they did have that brain scope chip, would yes. you get it? If you're you part of the it, you? You guys, it's going to rock your world in 2024. Hey, hey, listen, so you would get the brain scope chip, you'd go for the elite package brain scope. That's I the said most once the uh, one. you know how you just like you're not supposed to buy a new model the first year it comes out. You would wait for him to do it in the test case, guy. Who do you think would be the first one to get it out there? Chris Zaldane would jump right on that because he's a live scoping fanatic now. He would jump right on and he would do it? 
he'd get a whole lobotomy to have it stitched into his eyeballs. Oh, listen, listen. There's some other breaking news in bass fishing. Skeeter is changing its tagline instead of eat, sleep, fish to eat, sleep, scope. And then Bass Angler Sportsman Society is going to change their name in 2025 to the Bass Angler Scoper Society. And boy, Duckett's already announced that he's not going to be outdone by that. He's going to go from major league fishing to major league scoping. And uh, Garmin in 2024, late this fall, Travis, a new minnow is coming out. It's going to be called the scope minnow. All you have to do is drop your little spinning rod, the fairy wand, and it drops into the water. It'll swim to the fish, show you on your digital display on your unit how big it is. And then the minnow will wiggle in place where you don't even have to do anything. Like Are a you excited control. about what's coming? Yes. It's called the Garmin oh, Scope Minnow. How about Are that? you Are you joking? It's a thousand dollars, but I mean, I think it's gonna be <laughs> are worth you it. joking? Because I'm gonna Google no. it right now. <laughs> Dude, I think you everybody that's watching needs to Google Garmin Live Scope Minnow. It attaches, it has a wireless connection to your unit, and you drop it in and it swims to the fish. And then on your little display, it'll tell you it's a seven pounder, a five pounder. It has AI built in. Nothing's coming up, bud. Well, I have inside information, bro. I'm on the inside track about all these changes Holy in the crap. industry, that man. Nobody's going to be outdone. Huge. The thing that I'm most excited about is the first brain scope implant. I yeah. hope you do it. I want you to be like, you got to be one of the first 10 people to get it. Remember how you said you'd wear the goggles if they were available? They had the glasses. Ed Lochran is a pro. He's a Maryland guy, and he's wearing the goggles. He's not doing so good with them. But um, BrainScope would take it to the next level. It wouldn't in hinder your vision. It's just a digital display right in your retina. What about that? The Elite Pack is going to be most expensive. It's Elon so Musk awesome. is a bass fisherman. Did you know that Elon Musk loves to bass fish? No. True. He's know. not going to wait. He's done the first brain implant chip, man. It's coming to Bass Fishing, bro, soon. And then Nintendo's coming out with the Scope Boy. You've heard of the Game Boy, right? Yeah. It's a handheld unit. That's the whole, that's 2027 release, bro. It's changing. <laughs> be ready for it. You be the first kid on the block to get it. <laughs> Guys, that's all just fake news. That's oh, the future really? of Bass Fishing. It is, man. I'm just kidding about all of it. The minnow that swims and shakes by itself in front of a fish. Don't you think that would be cool though? Oh, I they mean, made what if we could start the R&D? No, but they one. didn't make it with the thing that you could see the fish. You have cameras right now, right? So imagine a camera on a little minnow that swam around, did not alarm the bass. And you know, if you could just put a couple treble hooks on it, what the heck? Why not? Oh, here's what you could do: you could have a swimming camera with your um jerk bait attached to it. And then you could push the release button and your lure would deploy. Now, how cool is that? Yeah. Like a little fighter jet, you know, dropping bombs. Just dropping minnows, man. I love it, man. Hmm. <laughs> it's all a joke, guys. I'm just kidding. It's a pair. All right. All right. We uh, had our fun. All right. Tonight's uh, topic. I have a topic I want to talk about. I have three baits in front of me that I'm really excited Let's to use. Go. I want to hear in the comments what you guys think. Um, and before I do that, I, I really haven't promoted this a lot, guys, but I, mm. I'd like to talk about it. So you because haven't fished this yet? I have not fished any of these three baits, but I was, uh, Dude, I, I ordered got my one. whole bag right there. Can I show you some of mine? I'm yes. fish with you? I want, I, I want to mention something guys. I haven't talked okay. about it yet and I, I will make some more videos about it, but you guys may or may not know. I have partnered up with tackle warehouse. And unfortunately there is no discount code, but I what? do make a small percentage of all sales. Mm. So if you're going to make tackle purchases through tackle warehouse and you feel like helping the channel out. There's a link below here. I'm just putting it in the comments. If you can copy and paste that, save it in your notes. Every time you go to Tackle Warehouse, if you use the atherta.com slash, you do the, it's a question mark from equals SMCR. That just lets them know that you use my link to do that. Um, and that'll, that'll actually, uh, that'll be really appreciated. So, um, yeah, I do appreciate that. 
There you go. Hey, look, there's the uh, there. You put the link in there. Very. Why don't you put it up on the screen as a little banner? <laughs> the code I'll, is one way. <laughs> I'll get to it. I'm the carpenter. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my bag of tricks. I want to pick up my three that I'm excited about. All right, I'm gonna wait. I get a very small cut, guys. Like if you spend a hundred dollars, I might make two bucks. So. But I appreciate it. And it doesn't cost you anything. If you're going to purchase on Tackle Warehouse, please use that link. It does help out. There you go. Awesome. Why does everyone hate Tackle Warehouse now? What? I don't know. What happened? Who is telling me that bait prices are going to skyrocket in the next month? What? Why? Uh, something's going on in the industry. What, what do you mean? I don't know. Uh, it's going to be 2020 all over again. You can't buy nothing. Oh, just wait till the lockdowns come, JP, in 2024, this year. The lockdowns okay. for what? Oh, Not for yeah. medical reasons. You'll see. Oh, is it for the election? No, nope. back into it, man. I'm not back yeah. into it. This is for the collective, not me. I'm just giving you guys a heads up. Don't I, when this I happens. You were out of that stuff. Let like, me tell you something right now. Big JP is not a member of no collective. I'm my own man. Damn it! How did you get sucked you're, back in, Travis? You're still going to be affected by it. How'd you get sucked back in? I'm not sucked back in. I just. I thought you didn't believe any of that stuff. So what are you even listening to? I believe just, in history. And you believe. Oh, my okay. God. All right. Our I got a couple things. And I'm super excited about. And then I'm going to show my bait. Is the Z-Man. This Ooh. is called the ST Grubs, guys. What? The ST Grubs. I'm going to pull it out here. And I'm going to share it with you. So it is a two and a half inch grub. That has three little tentacles coming off the tail. Okay. But that'll catch them. What I plan on doing with this is just put it on a small eighth ounce jig head. And obviously you can just slow reel it like you would a swim bait or anything horizontally in the water column. But I'm going to probably fish this more like a Ned rig, guys. Um, I think this is going to be a really cool... Obviously, Z-Man, it's going to hold up. I didn't buy too many bags because I wanted to check them out. But once I got them, I realized I know I'm going to be able to put some fish in the boat um, this season with that. So I am actually super stoked. Not the best color selection. I wish they made it in yoga pants. Their pumpkin is their pumpkin color. <laughs> they don't really have a green pumpkin. But I got this, and then I got uh, the motor oil color. Um and that's one bait that I'm excited about. Yeah, it did pretty good with you on that G-tail grub from... Uh, oh, sure. Oh, from what you call it? From Rains, dude. Then that sand color that looks just like a goby. Check out this little finesse bait. It's a fanatic G-tail grub from Europe. And it's got a... Look, it's a ring grub, but it's... Look how small that thing is. I think that's going to catch him, Travis. Yeah. What do you think? Right. It's from Russia. Going for it. It's called the Dagger uh -huh. Active 3.0. Tested by Yuri Petrash. Look, it's even got Russian writing right there. Jeez, you got <laughs> it. Right. It smells so good. Um, <laughs> Are you reading the what you call it? I'm, I'm trying to stay out of them. <laughs> you read the comments? What's what did no. you start? What, I don't no. even know right. what's going. I haven't even looked at them yet. We're gonna Hello, stay everybody. on the grub topics, guys. I got these new Kitech flapper grubs, four-inch flapper grubs. Now, oh, interesting. Yeah, have you seen these yet, Eric? Hey, no, I haven't. But Lee, for your information, I've had this box together for four years, waiting for me and Travis to sell something other than what we always throw. Just FYI. So I like to throw new stuff. You guys know that about me. I've been so saving it. What's unique about the flapper grub here is you can see it has two little points instead of three. It's a bigger yeah, bait than the, uh, the STD yep. grubs. And mm -hmm. it also STD. has a little bit bigger, thicker body. Yep. So, again, I think this is actually my, my plan was because 
I don't get to. I plan on doing a lot more this year, but I I used to throw a swim jig a lot, uh, even mm-hmm. smallmouth. I mean, this is pre YouTube days. I would go on Lake Ontario and and we would wreck them on on a swim jig, and it's just something I haven't thrown lately. So yeah. I bought them in straight black, green pumpkin, and white. I think this will make a great swim jig trailer. I really absolutely. do. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You told me about that swim jig bike. That's that's pretty cool. I'm going to go next, Travis. This is the Zonk 77 sinking, sinking minnow. That thing will get to depth. So I'm just going to cast it out and grind it around. Uh What do you think? And I've got it in a couple different colors. What would you throw, Travis? So we got that kind of like smelt looking one. I got a black and gold one. It's just kind of like a silver. I got a black and gold. What's, What's the best color, do you think? Uh, you'd have to show, show me him again. Probably that one. Okay. On a cloudy day. Yeah. I'll bring them all. And then I got, uh, I got one with a pink belly. No. Look at that with a blue back. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. And then a redhead. I'm throwing it. I want to see, because that's a jerk bait style thing that will get down 12, 15, 20 feet. It'll go as deep as it wants to. Um... I think bouncing that around the pre-spawn when they're, or maybe even in the fall, like when they get all those flats. Yeah. Hold on. Hello, Basco. It's Travis, like the, uh, the get bit baits grub, the hypertail grub. I love the hypertail grub. My, uh, I don't think he's making those anymore. And so. It might not be. I, 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 that's why I kind of, that's why I had grubs on my mind over the last couple of weeks. And so that's kind of what I was, uh, I was trying, I, I went, I did a lot of uh, Google searches and looking for the perfect grub. And of course, Yamamoto came up. I, I like, so the Yamamoto grub, I think is hands down one of the best grubs out there, right? Yeah. I think you've thrown that, right, Eric, with me? 100%, man. Absolutely. Um, obviously, it's going to tear quick. They're expensive. You know. Oh, boy, they catch them. This, this Kai Tech is, is half the price. This is three bucks a bag or whatever still. And that'll um, last a long time. The Z-Man catches a lot of fish on that thing. Let's lose yeah. your Yeah, and you got to rig it right. Yeah. Very true. Um, you got to rig it straight. Okay, next one. This what is, do you got? Pro- gosh, really excited about this one. This is the Kitek Hyper Spider. Ooh, yeah, that's a new release, right? Yeah. Take yeah. one of those things out. I wondered about that. Yep. So, because they they really like the uh, spider grub, right? So, what is that? A little spider grub. It's gonna have. Oh, I'm gonna good. call it the rage type of tail, right? It's got that cup yeah, on it, flapper. Yeah, this place. It's gonna move good. Um, dude, I think it's gonna crush. Oh yeah, so you're gonna put this on a little eighth ounce or or smaller jig head, and just I think it's gonna be just devastating. Oh yeah, like you could color the you could color some of the pinchers if you wanted to, you know. Yeah. Add a little dye marker to that. Oh my god! Need to official bite, regardless or not. But yeah. Oh, we'll see. We're gonna test it out. Yeah. You throw yours plain. <laughs> I'll throw mine doctored up, and let's see what happens, bro. Yes. <laughs> All right. The next one for me is. What do you think, man? I got the shrimp. The Eco mm-hmm. Gear shrimp. Oh yeah, I'm throwing it. I Who think I'm gonna get the big Eco bites. Gear? Eco Gear Aqua. Yes, there it is, straight from Japan in the right color, green pumpkin. It's hard as a rock, but it's tasty. And that super juice, I don't know, man. And then they got the powder, which Brian told me that Berkeley didn't want to use. And you got to wear gloves. It's crazy. So that's all because of Brian the Carpenter. Thank you, Brian the Carpenter, for making me spend that money. What is going on in the chat? It's going crazy. It's going crazy. There's a little internal conflict as usual. JP, what's, you got any what, secret baits? what's the conflict? Uh, I think it's just, uh, well, BTC's in the chat and Pete's in the chat. So you're going to have some. That's, that's all you need to know. Conflicts. And then well, the last thinking... one is this little one. JP, I want your comment on this. This is a little kind of minnow with a blade on the bottom can you see the blade so it's a bladed yeah. little swim i don't think i need the weed guard but under spin with a little pink swim bait looks nice yeah or you got the chartreuse and that was sent to me remember that bento box that i got travis from yeah. that i showed 
Yeah, yeah, that big one. That was the mystery box. So uh, I told him I was going to be traveling around. I think they sent these mm -hmm. for our days on Ontario or up north, and I never threw them with yeah. you. Yeah. Hey, and Scott. Um, anyway, I did get my Amazon order today as well, and it has light brown just for men. So I'm going to try that. When I go with the straight brown, it just gets a little too dark, and then everyone t calls me. Uh, Spencer Shuffield. So, no. Wait. So you're telling people now you co color your beard? It's obvious. I got some gray. I didn't know, now. but you you With tried this light. to like say it's you actually didn't. blonde. Yeah. It's not gray, but I would like to make it slightly darker. I just saw in the blonde. comments that uh, blonde. Big, big, listen, guys, this is important. Big Gino, blonde, the I have operator, blonde hair, Eric. Go ahead, JP. I'm sorry. Big, big Gino, the oh. operator, seems to still be on the fence on whether he's going to this. Race got championship that I guess he fished all season, right, to qualify for. All he did was talk about he's got to win Angler of the Year so he can go to the race, Scott. It's all I heard about all summer, all fall, all winter. Why is he not and going? Why is he not going? Why is he not going? Jablowski just asked him if he was going. I thought Gino was going. Now I hear it's up in the air from Gino. I want to know, guys, does he go or does he stay home? Does he take the, the tongue licking from home for not being around? And go fish the tournament, or does he stay home to keep the peace? What are we gonna do? Is he gonna regret it and start to resent it? It's a tournament that I feel like he could excel in. It's a it's a lake that's full of grass. What right? lake is it? It's on Lake Seminole. It's gonna fit into his into, into his into when his what field time house, frame? Right. It's gonna be at the end of uh, end of March, first week of April, post spawn. Hopefully, right. Topwater frogs over the grass, maybe. Um, maybe live scope plays, right? But I really think he's got a chance to do well. I think that he put the time, effort, money, and, and didn't go to work all, all last summer, the weeks of the ABA tournament, so that he could qualify. And really, I just need everybody in the comments, and you, Travis, and Eric, to just tell him to put the goddamn pants on and go fish the damn tournament. Probably should. Yeah. Now, no, Gino. Go, I'm going to be fishing old school this summer. I, I, I was going through, okay? I went through the relic of my basement here this week, and I found three packs. It's probably three of the last packs in existence of one of the best bait, <laughs> smallmouth baits that was ever made that for whatever reason, whenever they make something good, right, they got to go and yeah. discontinue it. And this is Gulp 3-inch Fry, and it's so good that it actually looks like piss in the bag. But that's not piss, guys. That's the original Gulp scent. This is not Ooh. open in this pack. Still nice. sealed, ready to go. I'll be handing out ass kickings up on Lake Ontario with the last <laughs> of the pack. Wow. He said it first. You heard it first on Small Mouth Crush. Mm. Man, what made those baits so good, JP, in your opinion? Man, they're just like a little delicious piece of birthday cake on your hook that the Small Mouth <laughs> just want to bite, you know? Um, That's awesome. You guys want to hear my uh, latest order yes sir we do we got 13 minutes before we're out okay let me look here 35 guys. minutes what is travis purchasing for this year can you share the screen oh sure i thought you were kind of done with Trav travis buying baits what happened all right hold on let me bring it over here all right tom what? says it's the stink it's the stink of that bait Man, I'm sorry, guys. I haven't even looked at the comments. I saw that Bobby Balsa caught some good fish on the original Gary D's D bait and uh, Ed Chambers E2 with the round bill Lexan. I think that's what he said. That's awesome. You know, you guys know I got the wine on with some Burns Balsa in my rusty crawl color. Hello, TK Stanley. Made it better. All right, Travis, what you got? All right, here Order we go. Order number. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. $978? All right. There we go, guys. Whoa. All right. What's... um? Oh, wow. Yama stick. Okay. Senko. That's obvious. Berkeley Maxent Little General. Rapala Countdown Elite. Oh, you're going with the countdown minnows, Travis. I'm I that. Give it a try. That's very interesting thinking. Buzzjet. What the heck? <laughs> I can't believe you put a buzzjet in there. Berkeley Live Minnow. Okay, I like that. Net bait half. Uh, okay. You got some hooks. Who makes that hook? 
BKK. Nice. Mm -hmm. You went with a Dry Creek double grub? I Whoa. Did, I, guess I, so. like, I like Dry Creek lures. All right. Z-Man, Ned Locks. There you go. There's your heads. <laughs> There's your Berkeley. Little Trooper, dude. All right. That's pretty sneaky. This is good. You got yeah. some power bait tubes? They make it Maxent? A Maxent yeah. tube? Whoa. Now, that's blowing me away. I'm very curious to see if you like the feel of that tube and if that tube has any action whether it matters or not i don't know because they eat a little general and it has no action so there you go there's the latest order and you got your free shirt yeah. and you got your trd gobies yeah those boys have been catching saltwater fish down there the uncle larry crowd what are you even doing with a crankbait bro oh, that gonna, crazy color i am gonna wreck them in ticonderoga on this this is a sexy shad 2.5 that's custom painted with a bunch of red on it red's good in the spring right it's got red eyes it's got a red nose and a red belly and i'll tell you what laugh all you want grinder have, what's have grinder you, have you thrown that color yes when i take east stack out there in about three weeks down to the lower end of champlain for a spring crank fest, you you have thrown that color you've thrown yes, that I, color yes i have I freaking love it. That's awesome. I can send pictures is all I got to say. Post them up on Big JP's page. I'm excited. You're going to go wind on them Ticonderoga fish? Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? I don't need spots or anything. I just want to know, what are you winding that crankbait around? Let's talk. Uh, and wow. I like that you picked a 2.5. Very cool. How deep are you going to be fishing? Dirt three shell. Five? I'm going to be yeah. trying to fish one to three. One to three. Just winding that thing. What are you going to wind it on? What's your line and what's your reed spiel? It's going to be uh, 15, uh, 15 pound test on a on a on a, a six to four. Six to four. Okay, gotcha, man. Gotcha. And just one. Are you going to throw fluorocarbon or mono? Oh, fluoro. fluoro. What grind? Fluoro. fluoro. What fluoro do you like Grinder. to crankbait with? I I, I use uh, Seaguar and Visex for all my <laughs> fluorocarbon <laughs> applications. All right, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jig, Jig Squad, stop by. EEJP, what's happening, boy? Stop by and to say hi, T. You still disappoint me. He's back, T. All right. <laughs> I can't stop laughing right now. Oh, uh, what's, what's that? What's that? Nothing. What's that? Tim, says, Tim says, Tim says I don't endorse that color. <laughs> Tim Hammer. He throws the he throws the June bug. I think that's the Tim that threw the June bug and won a tournament on it. Chatterbug. Mad Hatter. Heck yeah, man. You're right. I just never seen a color like that. It's kind of psycho. I love it. Yeah, it looks good, right? oh, David Fritz will tell you the belly is the only thing that matters. It's like a bleeding shad. It's like a shad that's bleeding out. Why wouldn't they bite it? Right? Yeah. Make it go back and forth like this. Do this. Do this. And let's see what colors we see to our eyeball. No, no. From the side. I want to see the side. Like wiggle it like, a, like it would wiggle. Now, it doesn't wiggle like that. It goes like this. That thing sucks. <laughs> it's right, a rattle we'll loose thing. Oh, yeah. He laid down the challenge. Now you're going to go spank him on him. I love it. It mm. is a zombie. You're right. East Deck, he called it right. That's the zombie sexy shad. It's like it's been zombified. It's got blood coming out of its eyes. Hey, I want to hear the back. comments. Um, I, I Not that my opinion even matters. And it's like beating a dead horse. Hmm. But I was going to put out my views on live scope video. You and a thousand other people would do it. Who cares? Say what you got to say. Yeah. Why wouldn't you put your stick your neck out there? Tell them, tell them how you feel. They know you're a scoper, but you could be, you can be proud of it. Now I'm going to take a little different approach and I'm also going to, ah, uh, Call out things. You're going to take a different approach. Here's what you're going to say. We've had this technology for thousands of years, right? I hope you mentioned that. He's, Maybe at the end. All right. You got to leave him with that thought. We've already had, it's already been here before. I mean, right? You're calling out Block It for sure. So you're going to start oh. a little bit of a, you're going to start some shit there, which is cool because you've been wanting to. I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy. You're right. Fuck it. I'm not going to do it. I th I, I mean, agree do, with Pete you, with that do, last do comment. You, do you have to call him out to express your views? 
No. There's clearly a division in bass fishing. Without calling each other names, there's clearly a division happening. There are mm -hmm. people that are for it, and there are people that are against it. There's the old guard. There's the new guard. There's there's a lot of good. I talked to Brian the Carpenter about it. There's a lot of finesse stuff that, you know, there's a lot of things. And both sides have points. And when it gets to the point that it's like, fuck that side, fuck you. You, you, you know, you call people names. It just becomes ignorant at that point. There's yeah, no reason do to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. As a tool for a professional angler, I think it's very clear you have to, to be competitive anymore. It's that powerful of technology. There's no denying it. Whether you like it or you don't, whether you think it's interesting to watch oh, or gosh, not. By the way, we hit 240 live viewers right now. Um, that's it's crazy. Fantastic. I appreciate it. I don't know why, but um, I feel like this show is going downhill every week since we started. But um, well, you well, well you but, know, man, I keep I keep it going for everybody, Travis. You do I get a, a good lot job, of comments. I'm just I get a lot of comments so that you, better. It's it's your feeling if we have because 240 you're, people but let, watching. But let's 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 be serious for a moment. It's your feeling inside because you've not been present. I you've feel not like been we into be it. Rocking it. We could be rocking it if you put more. I'm rocking the content this year. I will promise you that. You've been promising me that for the last year. I'm glad you're back. Let's see if you deliver. But okay. you're projecting your feeling onto everybody else that is watching. Don't and frankly, stop even saying that. I think it's an insult you're because you know everyone what? Says I project. I don't project. I'm not. If everyone that. says you JP, project, what's going on? You might there, want buddy. to think about that. But JP, you're looking awfully serious. No, I'm feeling great. You know, I'm, th I'm thinking with 241 guys in the chat, I got something I want to bring up. Listen, guys, it's getting uh -oh. warm. It's getting warmer than we thought it was going to get warm, right? And Travis yes. and myself, right, we got a week early than we thought we were going to have to do to go up there to start catching fish on the Canadian side of Lake Ontario and the St. Lawrence River. And you we mean wanted they to open the season. No, it's open Earlier? right now. It's open. It's what? open in Canada. Yeah, it's open until May 10th, right? And Travis and I were thinking with this influx of warm weather coming up from the south, right, that maybe a couple of you jabronis wanted to jump in the boat with me and Travis and experience my dynamic personality <laughs> and his fishing intuition. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I did. Okay, raise your hand if you're a jabroni and you're in the comments right now. The 241 people, uh, what is a jabroni? Can you explain to me your definition of a jabroni? I want to you know if you're probably a jabroni. Do I feel good about myself if I'm a jabroni? Because like I'm, I'm in the jabroni club. A jabroni's I, I, like a randy. A, a jabroni. Uh, a I don't randy. know if you ever watched. I don't know a if randy. you ever watched. Already. So what? Time, time out, Travis. So what's your definition of a of a randy? Look at all of them raising their hands in the comments. Did you ever watch wrestling during the Attitude Era when The Rock asked you if you could smell what he was cooking and he said he was going to beat your jabroni ass, okay? It's just a funny thing to say. We're all down I to earth, blue-collar workers in here. We're looking to have a good time. I'm looking to get Travis, me, and a fan in a boat. That's what I'm talking about. A jabroni fan. I got a you. Jabroni. Okay, so are you taking him for free? Is this like a giveaway tonight? No. No, okay, we talked really about this earlier. JP, guys, just so oh. you know, I want to I want to make a public announcement here now that we got a pretty almost 250 live viewers right now. This is uh this is great, guys. Um I had a guy from Texas bail on three prime dates, eight, okay. May 6th, 7th, and 8th. I have May 6th, 7th, and 8th open. I'm also potentially gonna start guiding the week of April 13th. So I have like six or seven days. Uh, my first real day of guiding is going to be April 19th. So I'm ready to go if you guys are. Get a hold of me if you want to take six, seven, eight. It's going to be the best smallmouth fishing you probably have ever experienced. Right. I prefer if you don't have a boat and you don't ever come back to these areas that we're going to be fishing. Uh, okay. But we'd love okay. to take you. My feeling, uh, me, my, 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 my point, looks point of order, are a lot different, but. That's fine. You guys will work it out. So I want, I Googled it. What is a jabroni? So noun, slang. A stupid, foolish, or contemptible person loser. She has always come back to own the trolls and jabronis on Twitter. Shut your mouth, you dumb jabroni. So if any of you jabronis in the comments would like to fish with these two fine men right here, please. I'm glad y'all raised your hand because that's what he just called you. Right. <laughs> anyway, but you consider yourself a jabroni. In the yeah, comments, it's just a guys. funny thing to say, Eric. It doesn't uh, mean that uh, it... 
I just didn't know. I, I looked a little. I don't know. It must be a New York thing, right? No. So Randy, evidently, evidently, Randy, you never watched wrestling in the late '90s, early 2000s. When I was the watching Rock, bass fishing, bro. I was watching Bob Cobb, bro. I didn't. Have time I watched. For wrestling. I watched bass fishing too. But on Monday nights, I watched WWE Raw's War, and I watched Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock, I, and, and I The could. Rock was handing out jabroni <laughs> sandwiches. All right. I got did, you. Somebody did said you get uh, into so Randy Block. JP, obviously, WWF. Yes, I was very much into wrestling during the Attitude oh, Era, and I got to tell you something. Me. The I Attitude was, I was, Era. Oh, here we I go. went down. Yeah, the Attitude Era. Eric, look that up. Why don't you Google that? And, I don't uh, know, bro. Don't give me no attitude, bro. <laughs> anyway, like I was at the big I was jabroni. At the, JP, is that what JP stands for? Jabroni. <laughs> I was down at the uh, the show and suffering this weekend. And I wake up way earlier than everybody else, and I and I saw that. Why is there 260 people watching this live? Because right they now? heard us talking about jabronis. That's why. That's that, exactly. Keep it up, man. You'll be buying me three hundred dollars of fucking steaks, JP. <laughs> That's right. I had a babysitter once. Goddamn uh, right, I said it, bro. So my parents were my parents were on a bowling league, and so we'd yeah. have a babysitter at night on like Monday nights or whatever, and that's when. WWF would come on, yeah, right, and they had the Royal yeah. Rumble and stuff. Yeah, Dude, there's a lot of wrestling fans in the comments. I'm just saying, I definitely I hit, a, hit a chord with these guys. They're happy, they're motivated. Look at these guys in the comments going off. This is great. <laughs> Who's booking JP and Travis for the spring trip? Raise your hand. That's what I was saying. Let's all otherwise, here's what we were thinking. JP came up with an idea earlier tonight, and I said, I'm not prepared to do that, but ah. I was thinking, I want to know in the comments, honestly. If we did like some sort of raffle where you where you you buy a a raffle ticket for twenty bucks, we were thinking forty just because we're not. Obviously, you gotta be you know people are gonna want to be within a six hour drive probably, and not everyone that's watching this is from six hours from upstate New York, right? They're all over the country. So, let me know if you guys would be interested in buying a raffle ticket, and it'll go on for like two weeks, two or three weeks. And you would fish with JP and myself, or if we time it right, heck, maybe we could, uh, it would be all three of us together. That'd be fun. I would just film. I wouldn't make a cast. So I'd kick your guys' butts, but, uh, ah. you, know, you know, Eric, how it goes down. What do you mean? Time. Oh yeah. I, I kicked your ass the last time. So what are you talking about? That's right. Well, JP's gone. No, I'm not. Yeah. Oh, you just oh. blacked out. We were only going to charge our regular rate, so seven hundred. So we had it. We wanted to sell enough raffles so we at least pay for both of our days. Does that make sense? So seven, so fourteen hundred basically is what the trip's going to be. But through the raffle, once you get fourteen hundred dollars of entries, you'll pick the winner. Is that uh, what we you're would like go for two weeks, and if we get a thousand bucks or five grand, it is what it is. A hundred dollars oh. for Travis and six hundred for the entertainment of JP. <laughs> mm. I got you. So you'll you'll just keep accepting tickets until I got you. You yeah. won't cut it off at fourteen hundred. Just take everything you can. Does that does that include a stay at the SmackDown Hotel? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't that's get that one. because that that's that's the, the Rock used to say he was going to hand out the SmackDown. You know, the SmackDown. No, man, that wasn't my scene, man. But that's all right. Come on, MJ. I know. A, I know. A, I, I know. A lot the of most people serious. When you're guiding with me, I'm nothing like I am on this live show. I promise you. <laughs> what are you like? I'm ready to go, bud. I'm looking for a bag. Yeah, you're always serious, though. I'm just telling you. Yeah, and I'll no, talk. He's... I'll talk. Definitely talk and teach and. I'm not gonna be funny like JP. I'm not gonna. I don't like stories. I ain't gonna tell a bunch of fucking. You're stupid actually. Stories. You're actually gonna stupid stories. You're actually gonna talk while you're I fishing. I only talk, guy. And when people ask me questions about what I'm doing, how I'm doing, where I'm doing, why we're here, what I'm looking for. So you are very instructional. That's my that's, job. That's that's not my experience because you're not guiding me. So we're just fishing together. I got you. Yeah, you I'm not gonna, me. When when like, I get to fun fish with my buddies, we're just it's we have a good fishing time. hard. Yeah, it's like, fishing. Oh, we laugh you when we're on the we, boat. We, we laugh hard though. Sometimes okay. you get quiet. I like when I try to film you when you're eating pizza or smoking a spirit chat. That's pretty funny. Something. You have to remind me all the time. <laughs> we do laugh pretty hard, actually. It's good stuff. But you are quiet sometimes when you're uh -huh. intense. You, when yeah, you scope, goes, I'd go with JP. I don't want to get yelled at. I 
I've <laughs> never yelled at someone. I've had people step on my rods. I've had people throw rods overboard. Right, I've you, had you've yelled at you've yelled at me. That was a foot you from the rod. You don't tip. yell at you don't yell at paying customers. You've yelled at me live. On oh, the we street. got in a we fight once. Them. Remember that oh, time we sure. got in a fight on what, the St. Louis River? Like, physical. No, like what were, we, what were we fighting about? What were we fighting about? We were in the back where the fish were up shallow. Oh yeah, that one. And I think yeah. I yelled at you about the camera. You did, like get the camera. That's I right. was more assertive because, I... yeah, I oh, think it was my first trip up there, man. Oh yeah, I had forgotten about that. Yeah. Yo, big yeah. shout out to Anthony Guys. I just want to let you guys know that guy is phenomenal. Um, I didn't know that he was a personal trainer, right? He knows I'm going through some uh, metamorphical ch challenges here with uh, me having uh, whatever you want to say about I'm having some insecurities. Uh, he called me up uh, personally, told That's me cool. I, I got this. I got an hour to chit chat with you on this date at this time. I called him up and uh, he gave me some great advice to wow. keep me on the straight and narrow. So, Anthony, thanks for that. That's really cool. There's um, some solid people here, man. Yeah, you know that's, that's went, the one thing uh, we don't talk about much with the people on the stream and the lives, man, that reach out. You know, that's really cool, man. It's a good group yeah. of people that watch. Yeah, people were wondering where you were this weekend too, Travis. Everybody wanted to know where Smallmouth Crush was down at the Suffering Show. Yeah, um, I need to do more shows. I get it. I get it. So I took advantage of the calm, well, southeast winds today and ventured out on Lake Ontario. In search of the brown trout. And? I got a lot to learn. <laughs> so if anybody trolls on the lake for salmon and trout and live within two hours of uh, Watertown, New York, you're welcome to come over for a night and teach me everything I need to know about getting things rigged up and ready. Because uh, I just could not. I, I found I had a I caught I had one on and fought it yeah. just behind the boat and he got off. But man, uh, there was 35 boats at the ramp. So is it, is it a fact of finding fish or, you know, you're around fish. You're just not catching them. Dude. First of all. Okay. Like it's, how do you uh, find brown trout when you're trolling? You 2D them. Do you live scope them? Like no. what are you doing? Uh, this time you, of year, you're you, trolling for browns, okay? I'll be right back. So you have, I, I, I got it, but you can't go out and scope and get in an area and see bait pods and, like, brown trout. What are they doing? Land on the bottom, swimming, suspended, mid-column? I don't know what they do. I don't know anything about it. I don't know either, apparently. But here's what I do know. <laughs> Guys look for dirty water. Come out of the creek mouths. Okay. So Adder. this time of year through mid-June, they're going to yeah. – if it's anything like Lake Michigan, they're yeah. going to they're gonna push up onto the – you know, they're going to be within a couple miles of the shoreline for the most part. And they're pushing up because they want to feed before they spawn because they go yeah. into the I don't rivers know. and spawn. What do they trout. do? I think they're feeding. I think they just want to get warm and they're just happy it's springtime. And But th don't they head towards the creek and spawn? Do they spawn in the lake or do they spawn in the rivers? Uh, da, 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 da. I would think a, a, a brown trout spawns in the rivers. Maybe I can they spawn I mean, on I the shore and in the tributaries? But if all these there's there's millions of brown trout on Lake Ontario, and I don't see a, a Tim brown Hamburger trout says run. you have to watch old episodes of Rod and Real. Tim Hamburger, thank you. He's from PA, by the way. MT the hammer. He says he's a great troller. <laughs> uh, MC the hammer says brown spot on the fall. Right. I forgot about that part. Because aren't the maybe not the all river? of them? Like these are there's different strains, but he's probably right. But my point is, so I should have bought, you know, I'm trying to remember because I used to troll, man. I had I had distances behind the board for depths of each crankbait like in my head like i could still i can run a number five shad wrap and know how deep it is a wally dive whoa whoa whoa, whoa. You, you're you're trolling shad wraps and wally sure, divers for those browns yeah. a number five shad wrap you troll it that's crazy it can yeah. it can be trolled that's such a little bait and they oh yeah it? it's a walleye magnet but anyways um, Holy hell, that's so crazy. I was I, I got a bunch of uh Smith with Gradlin rogues or the floating rogues, I'm sorry. And and that's and you a troll great those. Bait. You troll that's a great bait to troll. Wow, um, like like it goes a foot or two below the surface. No, so you put a little split shot in front of it, or okay, okay. I think okay. if you put hundred feet out, you're gonna you're gonna get down four or five feet. 
that's fair. That makes sense. Okay, so they're suspended. Like in uh, what depth? No, no, like no. So you, okay, so when, when, you, when yeah, I want to know how the bank, you are. When they're up on the bank, you you can you want your your furthest board could be in four to six feet of water, two to four Holy feet. Holy crap! Yeah, 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 yeah. Shallow. And, wow. And, and you run them out depending on the depth and the, the contours of the area that you're trolling. But I lost three baits today, man. I got snagged up because I, uh, I I tried to Google. I Googled real quick. I Googled Smithwick, you know, rattling rogue, how deep, how many feet back, and I couldn't find it, so I just said screw it. And so I went with all rogues today for the most part and. Uh, boats were scattered. There wasn't anybody working one particular zone and, yeah. uh, it was good to get out, but man, uh, I was doing one eight to two miles an hour. Uh, only three lines are allowed. Uh, even I, I did go out deeper. I got into 20. Uh, I put out some dipsy divers with spoons. Shit. I don't know what I'm doing, bud, but I'm trying. Did, did, did you, did you, um, so wait a minute, you, you're only allowed three lines out when you're trolling. Yeah. Yep. Well, wow. three lines in New York. Yeah. Unless you're okay. ice fishing, then, then it's seven. So, ah, that makes no sense. So three lines because there's a lot of boats and it would be crazy. Mm -hmm. How many could you put out? A lot more than that, I'm sure. Well, if I had a full, if I had three people with me, I'd probably run, I'd run six boards out and then two straight back. So that's eight lines in the water. I can't even imagine hooking a fish. And have uh, it's, it's, it's easy once you know. No, you just you let the boards okay. back, you reel them in. Uh, it's fine. Uh, oh, uh, uh, that's interesting. It, okay. It's just like trolling for walleyes, but I'm <laughs> I'm dedicated because I really want to do this. Like I want to guide for browns, but my fear is I just I don't have the resources to look on the internet. I'm sure I could find. I need to find where the dirty, dirty water is. Right. Um, I just visibly drove my boat until I found. And obviously it was coming from a tributary, right? Um, right. And so I set up there, but guys were trolling clean and dirty water. So I was confused. And then I was thinking, mm. man, maybe everyone's got spring fever and it's just a little too early. Um, okay. But then I was like, maybe I should be throwing, you know, trolling spoons. And then I got all confused. I'm like, should I be 1.7 or 2.5? You know what I mean? Like, because yeah, I, yeah. I put the dipsy diver in with the spoon deep. And it was dragging at 1.8. It, it, it didn't look like I had a lot of action on the spoon. So then I got nervous about that. And all this stuff's going through my head. Like, I, I just, if it was Lake Michigan, I, I know the areas and I know what we used to do. But yeah, uh, I, I got a little bit to learn here, but I'm going to put the time in this month. And hopefully by next month, I'll have it dialed in and next year and beyond. So very cool, man. Yeah. How about that? That's wild. Well, lot to learn, man. It's a I'll whole tell you thing. what, once you do find a good population of Browns, this is what nobody's doing, I don't think. Yeah. When you're trolling along and all of a sudden you come into a pocket in the area, you know, maybe it's a half a mile stretch on, on the shoreline yeah. and they're stacked. I think can't you, you just can cast crankbaits, reel those boards in, get oh, your jerk bait God. out, and scope oh, them up. Yeah. Oh yeah, you could. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? They do they move around or they just hang around? Like are they chasing bait? Are they moving? I don't know what the attitude of a brown trout is do they i don't know like, either are they feeding on somebody said smelt are they are the smell i, I agree with that spring? sure yeah that makes sense yeah are there smelting and i guess all the yeah. great lakes right that's cool. yeah um that's probably why anyways. a road worked so good looks like a smelt yeah the smeltinator oh thunder very Six cool Perfect. very true the old ones if you can find you can find the old ones cheap i'm not saying the new ones don't work but you know me, the old ones. I know they were. Yeah. Very yeah. cool, man. So that was my adventure. Tomorrow. What well, are you doing, bro? Let me look at my schedule. I got PT. Look at the calendario. Oh, PT for what? What? My elbows. Oh, are you kidding me still? We're supposed to have a nice day tomorrow. I might go I might go out and uh, try to chase some walleyes. I got an idea. Is it I got a feeling I know where they're stacked up, no? JP. You know? Is it feeling any better, Travis? Uh, it depends. Damn, dude. Uh, me and Gino that. scoped up some trout on Candlewood Lake once with jerk baits. Caught like six for six. That's cool. They look like perch on live scope, but they're smaller trout, 16 inch browns, you know? Yeah. Hey, that's, that ain't a bad trout, bro. Good eating. Did you eat them, JP? Uh, no, because in Candlewood, the trout's like a protected freaking. 
Whoa. fish and you're only allowed one and we weren't sure how big it had to be and, and then you have to buy a trout stamp which we didn't have oh well, that's cool all right what else are we gonna do what was it to rain all day tomorrow ain't it I don't well know. shoot dude we're 35 minutes we're 14 I minutes might not over. Go. i got an appointment midday so it doesn't make sense right now are you uh what do you think man keep it rolling or uh oh no we can't end it yet well you said 35 minutes you want to be quick oh, are, you no, bringing are, you, are you are you are you bringing btc on bro ah, do a four did square you, did you send the link uh, you have his email right i don't really want to push a bunch of buttons but just send him the link you're what are you doing up there Trev, or Eric, his elbows are really bothering him. He's got to go to physical therapy. I know. Tomorrow. Let me have see if I get. I don't. I don't know that I have Brian's uh, email, bro. He's got to get um, epidural uh, steroid BTC, injection. BTC, in if you're, send me your email, BTC. I'll send it, Eric. Jeez. No, I'm texting him right now. I need to get. I got it. it. I'm doing it right now. Okay, bud. Oh man. What you don't have it? No, I got it. Recipients. What's his name? <laughs> Brian. Brian. I got nothing. No I man. BTC. Try try BTC. Oh, I always just text him the link. Okay, text him the link. That'd be easier. Oh, I I got it right here. I just uh, I just emailed him it. Okay, he's uh he's texting me back. Did you send it to Pete Jablowski as well? No, we don't know Pete's real name. No, I said I thought you said he was coming on tonight. You were just you were screwing. I around. never said. You told me Pete's coming on. You were talking about somebody else. I had just assumed it was Pete Jablowski was finally coming on. No. no. Okay. All right, Pete, you're not coming on. Sorry. <laughs> Let me see. Brian just answered. All right, guys, our special guest tonight. You know what? I was at that last sports show, and a guy dropped this, the Northeast Guide to Bass Fishing. Looks interesting. JP, any thoughts? Oh, that magazine? No. <laughs> it's not Gray Buck, but doesn't that look like Gray Buck with a fly rod? Where? <laughs> it, do, it actually it actually does. <laughs> Maybe it is. Holy crap, dude. So how how's this how's the physical therapy for the elbow? What are the, what are you doing? Are you getting electroshock? No. So they make Stand. me go once a week. I do some band work, a little two pound weight going like this. Yep, yep, yep. And, and then, uh how much has he, it improved? And then the guy comes over and rubs some gel on it and takes this little machine and rubs around it for 15 minutes each side and says, see you later. How are you feeling? Like compared to where you were? Uh, it's getting better. Would it hurt to cast or no, just row? It doesn't, I, it doesn't does affect does anything I do. But Why are you going to physical therapy then? Um. Oh, that guy Brian Winnetsaki, he was at the show on on Saturday. Uh, What's up, Brian? Hmm. Anyway, you, got ten, you got tennis elbow? Is that what you got? All you do is you go to the bone and joint sure. center, and they give you an injection in your elbow, and then you never feel pain in your elbow again. <laughs> You're talking about a cortisone shot? Yeah, that's what I got. I got the tennis elbow from jerkbait in one spring, and then I was like, oh, man, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to <laughs> Set the hook with a flipping stick this summer, and I went to the Bone and Joint Center, and they they put a, a shot right in the right in the core of my elbow, right there, and I never had pain in it again. Yeah, do you do the 20, exercises, bro? I, I got that back. injury, guys, by aggressively trying to move a kayak up a not even that steep of a hill, but it was a couple, it was a hundred yard drag, and uh, I, I messed them up back in November, and they're getting better. When I went to Wisconsin and ice fished last, I guess, a week and a half ago, 
and pulled the shacks, you know, a good mile, yeah. mile and a half. It definitely started to hurt again. Flared so, up again. I might be, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm almost, we're, we're good. I'm not going to worry about it. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not, that's no fun, man. That's painful. Jeez, you guys, Sean, come on. What did Sean say? Nothing. I don't know what that means. Good. A lot of us oh, don't. I think I do know what it means. I just thought about it. Don, what in the hell? Yeah, you shouldn't know what that means. I do know what that means now that I thought about it. <laughs> the one word was the clue. Yeah. If you know so I mean. there's a lot of new names, guys. Uh, I do want to know if there's anyone new watching. Let us know in the comments, please. But Joe goes, Travis, are you going to run the augmented uh, Google Glass with LiveScope? Obviously, like I said earlier tonight about anything new technology, I like to wait a year or so. Um, but yeah, I would definitely give that a try. That's it's, it's just glasses, right? There he is. What's One of our up? Favorite guests. What's up? Turn that turn that hat around. What are you wearing tonight? Oh man, I thought it was the tug light pad. Dang. I had that on the other night. Other uh... I saw that, dude. Thank you. Yeah. You don't have my name up there, Trev. It yeah, doesn't show, it. but I see it down below. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Who's that was new? For, Anybody new? Anybody new? Anyone new? Who's new? Who's well, first beer of the night there, Pete. What direction do we want to go here, BTC? Uh, <sighs> Bass After Dark, you kind of tricked me today. I thought I saw something about cheating and then i saw something about unwritten rules when i went to the youtube channel to see if i could find a show about cheating has the cheating episode come out yet no all right no that was just a uh reel from last week's show about the unwritten rules of bass fishing. okay yeah this week's show i'll be drop it here right now for everybody <laughs> since we share we share an audience um are we witnessing a youth movement or a technological advancement? Oh, interesting. Oh, I like that topic. What a great topic. I can't wait to see who the guests are. Yeah. And it's a two-parter. I would like wow. to hear I would like to hear one. JP's thoughts on that. I think that we're witnessing uh people that put work into new technology. And I think if older people would put the effort in and learn it they would be able to compete with them but they like to go deer hunting in the off season and they like to not fish and they got complacent in my honest opinion and these guys are passing by them and i'll tell you it's it's not something that you just plug in and instantly start catching fish and i think that a lot of people have a misconstrued notion on how live scope works it it, it does take somewhat of uh, talent right you still need to know how to present the bait uh, they're throwing all different types of bait at them. There's different stuff coming out all the time. And I think a lot of these guys want to go deer hunting in the winter and they should have put hours and hours in on the water to catch up. JP, you nailed it. Um, that is certainly part of it. How'd you get this far to the stream and nobody said rotate your phone? I, I, I did rotate it. Nothing <laughs> happened. Oh, Jesus there Christ. it is. Bingo. Everybody watching, yeah. you're welcome. Page 35 of the operations manual, smallmouth crush. Make sure your guests rotate their phone. <laughs> where did Travis go? Why do you, did, did I don't know? Jesus, you mean where did he go a year ago or more? Yeah, right now. Oh, I thought you were talking about like overall. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't know. Well, that's a great show topic, man. I can't wait to see who the guests are. Like I said, two parter. Hmm. It can only be done in two parts. It could probably be a three parter, but wow. Yeah, it's gonna be a two part show. Um what old guard guy that's been sitting in the woods deer hunting would geez. would would want to come on the show and go, Yeah, I kind of fucked up. Well, I there's a lot of that people guess. that are complaining in public right now. Like JP said, like you know, I, I see I see things that randy says and i'm like there's some truth in there mm -hmm. you know it does take away your ability to disconnect from from technology 
you know, takes you away from being connected to the environment, you're fishing, things like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. It's all true. A hundred percent. But at the same time, what JP said is true. You know, I look at Ike. Ike got the got his foot in the door by outworking everybody when he was in his early 20s, before he had yeah. family, before he had all his businesses, yeah. you know. And that's what these kids are doing. They're not tied down, and they're putting the work in. Sure. And, uh, Does Ike deer hunt in the fall? No. Nah. But oh. Ike's, Ike's busy as all hell. Yeah, he's and got he like three week, businesses. He's sure. Every, one day a week one day a week uh during the off season he got on the water and just played with the live scope mm -hmm. so he's trying but yeah that ain't enough honestly interesting you know, like, he's got a lot so now the hammers are the dogs interesting what's that the hammers are the dogs so they didn't put the work into the new technology is that what happened Oh, I'm not saying that they're the dogs. I'm just saying. No, that, I'm just asking it, the hammers it, that used to dominate are the dogs now. You can't. Is that, you can't. Like KVD there. is like everything. Well, the dogs thing is, is so that you can't sit there on live and say, "Hey, hey Rick Plum, not a legend. He he lied to us the whole seventy five years." No, no. But well, here's the difference. Here's the difference. No, I'm just wondering what, what's JP saying. Are they are they no, deer right. hunting dogs? I just no, wonder. they're not dogs. I'm just saying that you can't sit there on live and say. He wouldn't be catching that fish under that dock if he couldn't see it because you were fishing docks and you weren't being as efficient as you could be because you weren't using it. There's no, a lot nobody, more no, nobody, that nobody would for. debate that. Nobody would it, debate that. Well, I think they, said it. They, they said it. Who said it? I, who's I they? Need, I, no, I just wondered who's they. I don't really want to. I don't want to drop names here. In general, oh, oh you were watching guard. it. You're saying the old guy, the old guys, the, the old hammers. Here's the difference, though. The tech, yeah. right? The kids have been working their asses off ever since, right? That hasn't changed, but something else has. The technology, mm. right? The technology, in addition to what the kids are doing, has Hard allowed, work ethic. right? Like like a lot of the pros that were young. Right. But the technology, the technological advancement is such that it by and large negates your history of the lake, your sure. your your hit your knowledge of pattern fishing. Sure. Like it's that big. Yeah. It's it, it's that big of a of a of a difference maker. And I think so that's that, interesting. You're the first person who's put it like that. That's fascinating to me. You're acknowledging and, the power of the tool. 100%. So Ken and I have been talking about this. Mm, and, you know, he, he sent me a um, a TED talk a guy did yeah. on, on uh, it, you know, like advancements in, in, in sports records throughout, throughout the years. Mm -hmm. It was this amazing TED talk this guy did. But he laid it all out and took, for example, Jesse Owens, you know, record track time versus sure. Dane Bolt. And said, compare them, you know, on paper, Usain Bolt beats them by eight feet. So it seems like this massive deal. But yeah. you guys start breaking everything down. What shoes were they wearing? You know, mm. Usain Bolt took off out of, you know, set blocks. Just yelling. Yeah. They give you a shovel and say, dig in a foot, you know, a footing. <laughs> so you start right. looking at all those wow. things. Mm. And then you look at, like, the actual time of it. And they, mm -hmm. they had this little timer thing with, like, Showed like it was a beat for everybody to cross the finish line, yeah. And they Jesse Owens' time into when Usain Bolt ran it, and it was yeah. legit like beep, 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 for the entire no, field. It's nothing in yeah. under a second. That's crazy. So, but and seconds. then you start comparing it to other advancements through through the ages, and largely you're saying that the athletes aren't changing; mm. it's the equipment. Yeah. You know, the technology um yeah can we, but mostly can, it's up, the technological advancements yeah i, I just got a new Brian. topic for you for your show oh what, what do you got is bass is are we ath athletes in bass fishing because you said something about athletes these athletes i was going to preface it with if you consider bass fishing a sport well <laughs> is that a I whole new it's topic a sport but i wouldn't call the competitors okay i, I got Are you yeah bowlers athletes huh 
Are bowlers athletes? Let's ask Mark Jeffries. I just feel I like you could probably is you could probably text them. Someone that that requires you know there's a percentage of physical ability needed to compete. You got guys well, like and I'm not you know you know who the big guys are on the elites and they still catch them. I feel I'm like we're changing stuff here a little bit. He's sweating yeah. all day long, right? Yeah, there's fat guys fishing. Yeah, and they could catch them. So, yeah, it's a good it's a good question. I don't know. If if for the past year and a half, right, a majority of the tournaments are won offshore with a new technique. Technique or technology? You guys see we're almost at – we had 275 would, right would, now watching would, them. Would, would, would they be one if it was just a new technique like mid-strolling? It's been around tight lining at little jig Give us a like, guys. a long time. I mean, gu gu it's a, Gussie, it's a new, it's a Gussie new won, uh, technology. Gu Gussie won the Tennessee um, – not the classic, but the one before that on the Tennessee River, um, tight line in the middle without live scope. So yeah, I would but say they've been without a live scope? Without live scope, yes, the first time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right, yeah, the but first time. Live, yeah. So, but when you watch the majority, ninety percent of the tournaments being won that way, mm -hmm. and you're too stubborn, right? We need to be open minded, and we need to be fishing in the moment. Well, the moment is telling us that the bank ain't doing it anymore, and the technology is helping us catch bigger fish that we didn't know existed that are just blobbing around out in the middle of nowhere. If you're a professional, then you should be adapting. Nobody's so the, arguing that point. Well, that was the question. No, I don't think it was. What was the I question, Brian? The question. What's the show about? What's the show about? Set it up again. Oh, mine? Oh, yes, uh, the show we, this Thursday is what we're talking about. Yes. Are we witnessing a, uh, a youth movement or a technological advancement? I'm on the side of the technological five, advancement. Five, because uh, if here's no. the question for you. If you dialed back time... And Ike was 20 today, and he had live scope today with no, he wasn't married, no kids. The energy that he put into it when he was 20. Okay. Stop. Would, Eric. Would, Eric. No, I, no. I, I, can, no. I can ask any question I want. You don't think he has a passion today? You don't think he no, knows how to use no, what I'm so, no, it, what Everyone I'm thinks it's a mystery. Is, you press no. power, you turn your game between this and this, and you move your trolling motor around, and you find you that fish to pass through. There is nothing. Is his audio breaking up? Can't do or catch up. Catch up to what? Is your audio breaking up, Travis? I don't know. Travis, we cannot hear you. You're all crackly, and so you're just going to have to take a minute and listen. Um, Brian, so I'm asking you the question, Brian, knowing I – because you I heard – MJ, MJ said Ike isn't putting 700 hours on his outboard like JT Tompkins did. Um, that's correct. <laughs> Ike's not doing that now. But, but did he? He fucking certainly did. Absolutely. Yeah, so the question I have for you, Brian – Mike got the word off by outworking everybody. Right. So if he was 20 today, would he be using live scope and would he be right there with the young guys today? So I'm trying right. to answer the question. Is it a technological advancement or is it a youth movement? I'm on the side of it's a technological advancement. It's not technique driven. It's a technological advancement. That's my opinion, JP. That's my opinion, Travis. Brian asked you, you the question. Me? I would love to hear your. You still crack. I think it's a little bit of both. I think that. Wait, I asked that, Brian the question, JP. Well, uh, Sorry to uh, interrupt you. Yeah. I want him to. I mean, answer I don't want to give up. That's all right. I don't want to give up the whole show. You know. No, I'm got, just asking got, you about Ike. Yeah, that's think, it. It's just a single guy question. That's all it is. Yeah. Not the show. I, I think he. I think he'd be. I think he'd be very good at it. Would he be in the top ten that day if he was twenty with live scope and working the way he worked? He was I, always I, I, front. personally. I would he was that. always out in front, you Me know. Too. Yep. Until he wasn't. Until he had four kids. And I, I agree. That's what I'm saying. Fifteen so businesses. I, everything else. That's all I have to ask you, man. That's all I wanted to say, JP. Sorry to interrupt you, but it was a question for Brian, and very specifically about Ike. And I'm dialing back the time machine just to address the topic of the night, which is on Thursday night. Thanks, Brian, for answering my question and doing it authentically. <laughs> Appreciate it. 
No, man, really. Thank yeah, you. like Tim Hamburger said, it's negating years of history that guys have spent. Like, that's the thing. Like, you know, mm-hmm. the young guys breaking into the league, they would be short. They would be short having a history on the body of water that they're fishing. Sure. You know? So they were always – they had to play catch-up. And the guys that go hunting in the fall could rely on their knowledge and their experience and their hard work over a yeah. lifetime dedicated yeah. to fishing. And, yeah. like, I'm not going to be somebody that comes out and shits on these guys for being upset right now because I get it. You know Me what too. I mean? Like, like I get it. Like, I'm not saying that they're right, in, you know, to be bitching and complaining and they should have put in the work, et cetera, et cetera. But, like, it's easy to see how that happens. It could happen mm-hmm. to any one of us, you know? Yeah. And it happened like that. I mean, I know Ford Facing came out a few years ago. Uh, 18 maybe uh, to point to the first tournament one on forward facing by Jason Christie up there in New York. Yeah, I believe it's heard, but it's just really gotten to the point, like the first versions of it versus what it is now. Mm-hmm. It, it, you really couldn't dominate it the same way. It's mm-hmm. just gotten so good and they've, they've gotten so good with it mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. mastered it that mm-hmm. It's rearranging, rewriting the record books that quick. Very true. Yeah. And you've, you've well, never seen anything like it in any mm-mm. sport, if this is a no. sport in the history or the annals, annals of time. <laughs> exactly. Unless it, oh, go ahead, Travis. Nothing even close. I think he was just opening a beer. No, go ahead, Travis. As you were saying. Oh, right. Yeah. We can't hear you, bro. I, I agree with Travis. Yeah, me too. Your bike is DOA, bro. What happened? Travis, try to say something. Are you just are you goofing with us? We do not hear you. You have no audio. Still no audio. JP, can you translate? You're close to him. Yeah. Can you trans <laughs> tra- no translate what Travis is trying to say? Yeah. Right. He's gonna speak through you. <laughs> Travis, you speak through JP. Try it. I think what he was trying to say was that you put the gain between this and that and you point your trolling motor in a direction. And it's not really that hard, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing to really catch up on and they just don't want to do it. So shame on them. I think that's pretty much what he was saying. Hey, JP. So I tried I tried it this uh, when I when that's I went strange. to Kerr and I was catching him cranking, right? Like you're about to do up there in Ty Calderoga, Grind and Rock. Um, and I didn't look at any of the fish I caught. It was really cool, man. I enjoy that. You know, I love that. So uh, we were in a pocket. And Scooter started shining the, the active target, which is really dialed in this year for some reason, because I think it's active target too. We don't have Garmin. And there's a couple fish floating out there like seven feet down in over 20 foot of water. And I caught a couple fish on the bank, or we had caught a couple fish coming in, and I had a scope minnow tie down. I had a uh, Okashira, not a screw head, just the jig head with a, um, I don't know, some kind of fluke style bait. Dude. Whatever, man. I know you're shaking your head like that was the wrong thing. It was the juggle minnow that uh, Ben Milliken does the little scope with. Okay, no, so in six cents, I bought it. I bought it. Wait, wait, I bought it. Dicks. So it had the nice little flappy, right, dude? I nailed literally every cast. I was over top of the fish. I had third cast. I had a fish bite it. I didn't. I didn't hook him though. And then he couldn't get him back. That group of fish, he couldn't get him back. So I spent about ten minutes trying it, but um. I got a bite, live scoping uh, a little <laughs> jiggle minnow, man. That's it's awesome. that easy. Yeah, I mean, it's that easy. I could do it. We're going to catch some this year doing it. Why not? You guy got to in tournaments, right? You can't blame me for it, would you? You don't think any less of me, do you? All right, I'm back. Hey. Whoa. Oh, hey. Now you're sounding good, Rich. All right. Where were we? It's kind of over now, man. We're, off, we're on to the next topic. Did no, I wanted to wanted make to a say? point here. What you were talking about, Ike, and back in the day. Well, he already answered the question for me. So, well, I'm going to answer it as that? well for him. Do you know what my question <laughs> was? What was my question, though? Yeah, I want to see if you remember what I asked him before you answer it. Is it technology or a youth movement? A youth movement. Right. And so. I, I don't know why everyone thinks every, all the elite anglers for the most part have forward facing sonar. 
All but one. Okay. You hit the on button, power it up. Sometimes you have to change your gain. I mean, it's pretty, there's no secret. It's not difficult. You look around, you see fish, and you see structure, and you you cast a bait to it. There's no learning curve. There's no, because I'm 65, I can't the fuck do there it. ain't no learning curve. It's a whole lot of learning curve. <laughs> no, it isn't. To... Stop it. Travis. Dude, I can put anybody that's never used live scope on the lake, which I do every day guiding. I tell them to cast 40 feet that way and point in the direction to cast, and then they cast there. And set the hook. I got you, but compete at the so highest. So Travis level. is saying it's a technological advancement, not a youth movement. He just no. he's on the side of the technological advancement. It's that easy. No, it's, you, it's I thought you just said that. Well, it's not a youth movement either. It's so here's what's no. happening. So what there is, is it? a uh, uh, there's a group of there's 30, 40. The people that are competing in the open are not pretty a winner, much Pete. all Stop. Okay, 80%, 80 percent. Eighty's not a winner. Go ahead, keep going, Travis. Eighty percent of the, I don't. I'm making this number up. I'm. A, I think okay, this is what's going fine. on. Everything's out of control with prices, gas, travel, food. I'm. I'm just making this assumption. Hear me out. I don't even know where we're hear going. Me out I all can't the way. wait to hear this. It's good. I'm gonna hear, listen. Hear you got, me out you all have the way. my attention. This is a shock. There might statement. be forty people. Uh, uh, more than that. All right. 80% of the open anglers are probably extremely, extremely wealthy and self-sufficient. Ah, 80% okay. of the elites are wealthy? No. 80% of open, open anglers. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. I'm sorry. Okay. And the ones that are qualifying yep. are in that group. So they have unlimited funds. They travel and fish constantly. They work on their skills every day. They travel all over the country. They, they gain as much information as they can before off limits. Ooh. And that's how, and then they put all the tools together and that's how they're doing it. It's, it's passion, right? It's time. Forget mm -hmm. money. Screw the, forget I even said anything about money. Whoever well, puts that the amount of time, however you can put time, those yeah. are the ones that are making. Well, I think that's exactly what I said that, Instead of going pheasant hunting and deer hunting in the winter, they could have spent more time on the water and become more acquainted with the technology. And I think that a lot of that has to do with possibly their age, Eric, because as we get older as human beings, we become complacent. Well, and, and we also have res more we have children when we were kids, and yes. a Balance. job and not a daddy that pays for my boat and my $40,000 of electronics. Oh, well, yeah. That's what about that? Yeah, well, that's 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 the, you know, that's the big negative that I see about where, it. Where did the nineteen-year-old get one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to compete? Right, he, did he win it before he got there? Tournament bass fishing has always been uh, a rich man's sport, and I think that for sure this adva this technological advancement is furthering that gap. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think it should ever be banned. It doesn't make sense, um, no. but oh, I think there bad. should be yeah two live some, scopes per boat if you want to put. I a think there should out. potentially be some limitations. Can you imagine being a college kid trying to come up and compete with Richie Rich down the street? At, you know whose daddy's got him hooked up. Clearly, you can't in a lot of these events as these kids are showing um, are, are showing the elites. You know, you can't compete unless you're proficient at it. And the kids aren't going to yeah. have it. All right. So I want to address Pete Jablonski real quick. Oh, and I'm sorry. I can't fucking stand this guy. Okay. So here's the thing. He comes on, he brags about himself, right? And nobody asks, but he's a millionaire and he's got this and he's got that. Eric, how many self-made people have you met in your life? Mm, Eric? A handful. Right. Have they ever had this quality about them where they have free time to worry about other people's stuff and no. they go on and they and they trash other people? Like, dude, you're Never. full of shit. Everything you say you have, you don't. And if you do, your, your parents got it for you. Um, <laughs> okay. Come on the show. Come on, bud. I'm not an alcoholic. First beer tonight, bitch. Come on the fucking show, you coward. All right. <laughs> Seriously, come on, dude. Or just go on with your life, dude. But you're waste. You're a fucking waste of time and space. You're a bitch. I'll fight you with one arm, dude. 
<laughs> this is going to get nowhere. Anyhow. And, he, and he's got six foot eight, 250 standing behind him. I got your back, BTC. I think Pete Jablowski's an asshole. And Gino oh, would, would get in he there, is too. An, everybody knows he is. And I got a good feeling I know who he is, but we'll, we'll, we'll save that for when we can confirm it. Okay. No. Back to the show. All right. I'm going to start reading comments. He reminds me of a guy that uh, I watched this show. It said it was on Netflix. He's a sad can man. I, can no I tell you a can I tell you a secret? And it was about a troll. That's it. He was behaving himself last uh, last couple shows. He was actually uh, making some positive comments and engaged in the conversation. I don't think and, I. I thought he. Was, I. I'm going to stand up for Pete. Not. I didn't see a negative comment yet tonight. You haven't, haven't been looking, bro. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> He's got everybody. Are you blind? Uh, no, but we're <laughs> almost at 300 live viewers right now, guys. This Travis, is uh, he's been raging. He's been raging. They all wanted to. Uh, what happens is they're scrolling through YouTube. It's hitting all the fishermen. There's like, who's this smallmouth live off? I'm fucking bored right now, and all they're here is BTC going off. So now they're yeah. intrigued. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. I mean, why would he come on, dude? Why would you not come on, Pete? I don't oh, like man. him. He's a loser. Tell the truth. I tell the truth. Okay. Did you even you, know you me? counting that raffle money in your head? Huh? No, I was money? talking to uh, JP. No. What's that? No, they're, they're, I haven't seen any raffle money go in yet. Oh, okay. I just oh, you have a raffle? Know, Gino just keeps putting up how many viewers are on here. Like it doesn't say it in the comments, right? I mean, it's right, right there how many people are watching. But thank you. Uh huh. Oh the, man. The only thing I agree with uh, Pete is uh, that Ben Ben Milliken's legit, and um, I got to fish with For him. Sure. Times the dude's yeah. legit. He can fish. Yeah. The, the real deal. And no doubt. And he's a guy that's older, has a family. And still gets mm -hmm. on the water five, six, seven days a week. You know, yeah, even it's, it's just a YouTuber. His job. He's his his job. work he ethic does it good. Oh yeah, yeah. He his work hard. ethic's off the off the charts. So yep, I'm a yep. He, he works as hard as anybody. There's no doubt about it, man. Yep. Yep. So it's going to be a great show, man. I can't wait to see who the guests are. <laughs> Great topic, incredibly timely. Wow. This should be a two bang. part. It's a right. must watch. It's a must watch again. Yes. All right, we're going to hit 300 here, guys. We're at 296. If you're watching this, do not leave until we like hit and like and share. Like and share. Let's get hit, this hit, thing going. Let's get entertained, guys. We want to talk yeah. about open topic tonight. I was going to try to make an early night, but I just got energized. I know JP's ready to go for another two, three, four, maybe even five hours. <laughs> Hey, I'm feeling good think? tonight, guys. You know, I, I I took care of business before I came downstairs. I figured, hell, maybe I'll try to stick out the whole show. You know, uh, I, I know me and, wow. me and Eric had a little bumpy ride there about an hour ago. Uh, he thought I was going to have to send him Omaha steaks in the mail, you know, That's but right, I think dude. we're good now. That's right. I ain't no Dave Mansu, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some controversies to... on this show as well. Oh, my God. But Dude, we need you to get and I into have like, had legendary controversies when you were all crazy drinking. Man, hard. Remember when people thought I killed Bill Dance? Remember that was like the first big rumor. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. White really? Cross, we should bring back the white. Yeah, this was early on. We started a rumor that that Bill Dance had died, and that was you guys. No, started that? I, I no. Somebody in the comments said Bill Dance died. And then we all kind of like were shocked, and that's yeah. what happened. We'd have to watch the replay to really know what happened. Yeah. Oh, hey. Would it, by the way, would it be Matthew? incredible to like show some of the crazy moments and smallmouth uh, crush live history? If it's also a real. Also a real there. Through. You got that yet? Yeah. Well, okay. I wonder if anybody else is having a hard time getting Shimano Vanfords. Travis has the insights. I ordered them from Tackle Warehouse months ago. They were back ordered. Now they're back ordered again. Now they're back ordered a third time. What is the Travis, deal? All I need is a couple of reels. Guess what? Everybody's throwing fairy wands now, bro. So you can, you can, uh, it's, what do you think that's attached to, JP? 302, Travis. Hey, tr tr hey, JP, let's is. use our noggin. 
What's it attached to, bro? Oh, it's attached to a, to a minnow on a spinning rod. <laughs> exactly. And how many people just bought spinning reels for minnows fishing? <laughs> Hundreds of thousands. You're never Thanks, getting bro. to Vanford this year. They're sold out for the next six months. You we, might get uh, it in the fall, bro. Tonight. You got a crank. Look at that. Got a yeah. first, people, first people to put um, Peach of the way, guys. Real Kennedy out there gets this raw and real. <laughs> well, I say thank you for the 300 live viewers. Whoa, look at that, man. 304. Nice. Oh, Joe Loki, man, for sure, man. The funniest <laughs> show was the Jimmy Big Time auction was hilarious. We have not yeah, had uh, we have not had it, over a 300 live in a cup in a good year. So uh I know, man. That's I know. Good news. <laughs> What do you guys, you. If, if you're if you're watching and you've been a longtime watcher of the show, what is your funniest memory of the, of the small mouth press? I'll be right so back, boys. Said, the auction, the live auction with Jimmy Big Time. That was hilarious. Mine was when, uh, what's his name, passed out. Oh, Mikey Balls. Yeah. Dude, that was unbelievable. <laughs> <And> I, <laughs> no. <laughs> what about the. the uh, Let's give away a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's uh, when BTC went out, like in his the Halloween and, show, and, uh, and, oh, yeah, uh, the, the, the and, uh, and interviewed those kids and showed off their van. And then the kid, the like, cougar. actually, like, bass fishing, yeah, the yeah. Cougar cruiser. Yeah. What was that? The cougar, yeah, the, 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 the cougar, the, Uber. Uh, cougar Uber, yeah, the cougar Uber, yep, yep, yeah. They had they had uh just blown up a microwave with like a, a quarter stick in the backyard. Yep, Travis. I was in here doing the live stream when we heard show. booms. Yep. So I took the iPad or oh, yeah. phone or whatever went down the oh, street. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. man. <laughs> you guys are so funny. <laughs> His Patriot phone, Brad Crumb, like anything. Uh, when Travis was drinking a lot of White Claws, talking about his Patriot phone. Yep, uh -huh. BTC going off on Pete. That's today. Uh, let's see the Halloween show. That's one for sure. Oh, waves, the, waves, waves turn ice. Says, I remember a couple mic drops from from oh. Epic Eric before. Uh, with with Oliver Die, remember that BTC? Yes, that was a good one. That was a good one. What was that? What was that one? Oh UX my god! <laughs> UX oh down. Oh my god! Oh yeah, COVID week was really good, dude. That's when I learned that you were. I don't know. You had a lot of thoughts in your head, and I had no idea. I didn't even. I really didn't know you. Know you? No, we you just know? got started. Yeah. No, dude. That what a COVID transition! I, I was at the point where I thought the government was was well. Yeah. All of my theories for the collective came true. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm running on new of conspiracies because all mine are coming. All my owns are coming true, basically, is what's happening. But yeah. it doesn't affect me anymore, right? I used to care about the conspiracies. Yeah. Now I understand that's for the collective and not my own reality that I'm creating. Yeah, so Wave Wave says COVID, COVID week is what got the channel known for sure. <coughs> yep. Yeah. Remember, uh, here's you know what? Fast oh, lab tour. Play it. Mm. <coughs> we what? play it. What's that? Huh. Dude, I like when I make you laugh really hard. When I go off on the uh, FG knot, that was a pretty funny moment yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that video I made when the uh, pan scandemic just first came out? We can call it a scandemic, I think, now, Eric. Would you agree? No. No. It and that's fine. Matter. I know you don't watch news or get in. I, no, I don't. Okay. Don't listen, uh, don't listen to either side, man. Okay. I just have my own thoughts that's in my fine. head. And you, you you haven't researched it enough to obviously <laughs> clearly don't waste agree my with time me, with it. But, uh, Why would I waste my time? Remember the video when when that scandemic first came out, and I was at the Bassmaster Classic, and I was talking. Yeah, I was, you licked the doorknob. That, that was just a fun video oh, to replay someday. Yeah, that could be okay. good for sure. Travis Shark Fishing Week was pretty funny. Remember you were trying to catch that shark? You were down there in the uh, Keys at that house. Oh yeah, you're on the boat streaming, live streaming from the, yeah, the lizard that. tongue yeah, tying yeah, the yeah. knots. Yeah, you guys had that knot yeah. tying contest. We've done a lot of good stuff on this show, man. It's been fun. Uh huh. Aquarium tank testing. Mm. Hey, there's a lot of them, man. Matthew liked the live scope rant. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Mike B, I like very, where you're going with this. Very prescient. 
Very, that rant was very prescient, bro. You should play that clip. Play the mm. whole clip. That was good. What else? Uh, live scoping woolly mammoth tucks in the river. Remember there were so were really many live that? shows that you guys would have loved with the after live when we actually ended mm -hmm. the live shows and we all like stayed on. Like I've I've <coughs> witnessed BTC in compromised positions late at night. I've I've seen what JP does. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, we've had some good uh, conversations. I like that one where you guys were streaming live from uh Kate Vincent. And uh, Panger was kind of out of frame, but you could see his arm. And I'm like, what is that, your latest drip dry uh, victim that you drip dried and hung up? Oh, geez. <laughs> and then you see Panger's body start to shake because he's cracking nice up. Saw. Yeah. Good stuff. So when will it get, yeah. uh, when will forward facing be, what's the next move? Is any, any of the leagues going to make a move on it? As far uh, as NPF, banning it? MPFL has already done it. Only one do? next year. 2025, okay, but, but who, you can only that, have one. But honestly, who watches that, Eric, or cares what? about What? They're on Amistad this week. Yeah, it's a $100,000 okay. first prize. Do you care? I don't you watch win? any of it. I don't but, know. Yeah, you don't watch professional fishing. Don't be like, don't you be could like go over now all of a sudden you're interested. You say you didn't care about professional bass fishing. You always said it. You've always maintained it. You play it so Maybe you secretly watch it. Okay, you're no, but no. Now you're all wrong. of a sudden you watch. I it. No, said I haven't had the bullshit. time to watch as often you as I used said to. Said you no. You said you don't have an interest. A negative. If I was going to gonna watch location. anything, it would be the Elite Series. That's it. I well, now it's if you're going to watch anything. Okay, so you don't fair? care. You don't care about it. It's not about time, because you just don't care. You're not. In I had, it. You don't I had watch the it. live playing a little bit this week weekend. Right, maybe because they're fixing <coughs> the way you want it to happen. All right, so my my answer to the question, I think I think it'll happen at the end of the year. It's possible Bassmaster will jump and do something hasty during the season, but I think that's a bad mm -hmm. move. Yeah, I think I think if they do, that's they're they're caving to I don't know the pressure from the you know the older guys. Well, and some of the fans, Brian, I mean, you you can't forget about there's a legion of older fans, maybe. Maybe guess, nobody young. Guess, right? guess so, what all sets that, that number? I don't know. The the fans. Ben the Milliken's 500,000? <laughs> yeah, Ben Milliken saved Bassmaster, and it's a fact. I'm going to sound very really stupid. He, man, he's, he is that strong. He's bringing that strong of an audience. I agree with you wholeheartedly, man. He's got so, a loyal, rabid Can I ask a dumb question real quick about uh, Ben? Why do you think what, they're what in Texas? That, Why do you think they're in Texas in the spring? His jersey. Oh, Oklahoma. Area code, right? Or what is it, Iowa? I don't know. Which one? Oh, what that's just thing? an area code? Okay. 402, yeah. that's Nebraska where he's from. Oh, that's right. Nebraska. He's a corn husker. No, yeah. man, but that 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 that's a fact, Brian. I think I think... When they said Texas opener instead of Florida, I'm like, that was brilliant on Bass's move. Put him where he lives, where he's been fishing, where he's been learning, and let him go off. And he top tended both times, man. He delivered, and he delivered the eyeballs, and it helped Bass immensely. They broke viewership records. That's Ben. How many people are watching right now? 285. 285. We're going down. I got it. Three or four. Three or four was the record. All right, get it back over three because I got a bomb to drop. Okay. All right, two eighty-seven. Two people just chime back in and click the button. Can well, how do they share? know if they're not watching? I don't know. You guys I mean, have to share. It, JP. The two hundred eighty-seven people watching have to share. What's that? Are you with us, bud? Yeah, I'm sitting here just listening. I don't want to get yelled at. I'm just sitting here knowing my role right now. You know your role. When you're ready to leave, you just fucking leave. I know. When I'm ready to go to bed, bud, believe me, I'll be pushing the button and I'll be out. But BTC <laughs> no. said he's got a bomb to drop and my ears are wide open. I want to know what BTC's got to say. Yeah. 298. All right, guys. Hey, listen. Share this or do something on your Facebook. Say, just watch this. As soon as we hit 300 again, BTC is going to drop. All right, we're at 300, else. BTC. Just went over those threshold. For the first time ever. Do it. Huh? What do you got? Eric, you, no. you shoot me straight, Eric? Shooting him straight. Got, what are you talking about? I got 291. Travis, we were we, we were at a thou we were at, uh 
We broke a thousand during the COVID stream. Yeah, I'm seeing 291 right now. Yo, what's uh, up, guys? I'm, Big JP here with Smallmouth Crush. We just want to let you guys know BTC is in the house ready to drop bombs. He's got dimes <laughs> to drop and heels to stop, baby. He's going to crack one open and let everybody know that Pete Jablowski only blows one thing, and it sure as hell ain't a joint, okay? So get this thing up to 300 and let his mouth start to rip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's outstanding, Chris. That's good, man. He's great like that. He can rap it, bro. You want him rapping your song. Let me just say that. Why wouldn't they have you like be the uh, announcer at some t- big tournament organization? I think he could be an MC. He would be the next Dave Mercer. That would be Dave's replacement. I'm waiting for the phone call. JP, Wait, would you take that job? Give me the yeah. opportunity. Hey, I'd give it a try. I mean, what the hell? You, I mean, he's a five time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a two time Bassmaster Open champion. He ties his own spinner baits in his basement because nobody will sell him one because he doesn't talk to nobody. His name is Travis the Man Child Manson. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be a little quiet because my kid's sleeping. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh my god, the undead Travis Manson. Uh, <laughs> We got 300 on there. There it is. There it is. 300. Thank you, you guys. Her. That's awesome. So, at the pre tournament meeting before Toledo Bend, uh, one of the anglers stood up and fired back at Bassmaster Brass, saying, Nine of the 10 rookies coming in. How come nine of the 10 rookies coming in this year were allowed to get, go ahead and pre fish? Every one of the lakes on the schedule and pay oh, for wow. all the best information. Ooh. Not against yeah. the rules, right? No. Somebody brought it up earlier. Like, they're out there. Yeah. They're grinding. They're fishing all the opens. Well, they're also seeing they're in top 10 for the opens. They're going to make the elite schedule next year. Let's head on down to, you know, Fork to Toledo Bend, to all when, the places. When, when the other guys fishing. can't fish, right? Where the other guys can't fish, it's a smart move, and they can they can do it one time, um, and they're playing within the rules. But Whoa. I just thought that was interesting. I'm not sure why I thought it was such Very a big bomb. No, that's yeah. that's, that's interesting. Pretty, that's a pretty big bomb. Yeah, yeah. Was that was that Bass's way of uh, leveling the playing field? No, it's just lack of. The ship has no captain, in my opinion. I think, I think by and large, the people that we see from Bassmaster are are good people doing hard work, but there should be people above them. I question that. Mm. I, I I don't know if anybody's really at the helm. Interesting. But anyhow, who's the pre- who's the president of Bass? Nobody knows. Mm. Since Ray Scott, <laughs> who's who's the face of Bass? <laughs> yeah, name one. Since Ray Scott. I don't- I don't know. At least MLF can say, you know, boy, duck it. You got somebody at least to hate on. Yeah. Bassmaster, like, well, oh, Chase, Chase, I guess. Yeah. Who's let's ever talk, seen him? Guys, let's let's talk about uh, two. Ah, Michael Payne got it. Chase Anderson. Yeah, but, two... that's, but who is he? Nobody knows. Anyhow. Clay, Clay Williams well, says, you guys, what rookies, are some, what are... rookies pre-2022 oh, are being led to the slaughter. The tables have turned. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And Dexter, I, I want to say something. Dexter I watched uh, – you, you guys know the uh, the Chris Aldane thing, the podcast he's got. Yeah, the bilge. I, I listened to two of them Very for the good. first time yesterday or two days yeah. ago. Um, okay. I listened Which to the lie detector guy. Okay. And, I thought that was uh, that called out a lot of anglers without calling out anglers. Ooh, I have to listen to that. And 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 the other one was uh, the Seth Fighter one, which was pretty good. So I just thought about that. That was actually uh, fuck you, Pete. Mm-hmm. I haven't talked to Mike Iconelli in weeks, bud. <laughs> Sorry, Pete Jablowski is running his mouth, he's talking shit. <laughs> no idea what he's saying. Honestly, like kick him the fuck off the stream. I like, can't because be it, man, jump on here. You can. You're a freedom, bitch, uh, the first amendment. You're bitch. Amendment right. Oh, you should kick him off the street. street. Can we the give him a warning? Shit. Can I give him a stern warning? At least Matt Pangrock had the balls to kick him the fuck to the curb. 
Ooh. At least Matt had the balls. Guy just runs his mouth. He tells lies, dude. I lies. think what we I, I would like to see a vote and I can get a poll up on next week's show. Everything and... I'm saying today, I'm gonna pay for if I say the wrong shit. And I've already said some stuff I might have to pay for. This dude's gonna run his mouth and sit there. Nah, you don't get the fucking ride for free, dude. Beat it. Off the bus, pussy. Why do we need to wait until next week when there's 300 people watching right now? In the comments, we want to know, is Jablowski in or is Jablowski out? It's pretty simple. It's either in or out. You know he'll be back. Why? You just block him. He brings down the show. Kick him out. See you, boy, job. Bye, bye, Pete. Out. <laughs> out. Free country. Clay, you're on my list, bud. Clay just defended Pete. Wow. Dude, actually, else? Oh, there's a couple in. Gino. Yeah. yeah. Well, Gino has to have him in because he makes the show somewhat about Gino at times. So it's just. Uh, hmm. <laughs> you can handle the truth, buddy. I'm right here. You're the pussy that won't come on. All right, carry on. Uh, I, I, Travis, is that good enough for you? I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's interesting, huh? <sighs> I feel a lot of pressure here, you guys. Why am I mad? We you mean you're talking shit on me, dude. What the hell? <laughs> it, <laughs> Man, I just think you're a coward. You, I, I literally, I despise what you embody. I literally do. I think you're a cancer on this earth. Anybody that, like, nobody that has free time is going to spend it in that matter to go on here and, in honesty, just shit talk people. It's such a tiny mind, a little teeny penis, dude. You're the like the worst. You're disgusting. You're not funny. Travis, why are you smiling? <laughs> You're not telling any Travis truth. En Travis okay. enjoys the show, I guess. That's that's <laughs> Travis. So Travis, this is entertaining to you. No, Travis does a good job. But, this is why his show works. See, he puts himself out there. He takes the ball busting fine. And he just rolls with it. He doesn't get too fired up. Oh, Travis's microphone is not working again. I, no, I'm here. Oh, He's there. I wish I could ignore it. No, Travis, it looks like you've made the decision. Why'd you even ask the people what they thought? Well, you had no intention of blocking it. I didn't can say that. Explain, can you explain to everybody why? Because it's overwhelming at this point. So why don't you tell the audience why you've made the decision you have and why you grin when you see the comments? Because you really just enjoy it. Deep down, you like it. So you're all <laughs> deep down. You like it. So you're you're trying to you know, use the speed freedom of speech, and it's a, but you're laughing. You're now you're squirming in your seat a little bit because I've hit the oh, nail on geez. the head again. And it's okay. You could just admit it. You want them on. True or not? Just be authentic, man. I, I'm. We're gonna put Pete in a little timeout. Okay, Pete, you're going to timeout. He's you now. I'm nobody out, Mike. I've never pretended to be somebody, Pete. I'm well, only Pete's here to time out now, Pete. so you can talk to him, but he can't. He's respond. gone. He's in time out. I think well, I hit in... the wrong button. I think I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Is he still there? Or are you no. put him in time out? No, I think I took him out. No, oh, he's out. Pete's gone, guys. Hey, you know what? Right. I'm not Thank wasting you, any of my fear on that fucking piece of shit uh, worthless piece of go, shit guys sorry well, Travis we'll just be back under another... it'll be easy to spot we don't have any trolls there's been a wow I didn't see that, that coming here. tonight I didn't see that coming tonight oh come on Travis the guy talked about my wife a couple weeks ago and, and was a little did he really a little bread yeah a little bread I asked for him to be taken off then and then you know I play the I play the fence I just said hey Jablowski you know, you say you fish all these ABAs. I will, I will find you out, and I will crush your skull. So, <laughs> yeah, 
I still think I know who it, who it might be, but I don't know. Travis won't give it up. What's that? I said, I think I know who it is. We talked about it. I oh, do, too. I I think BTC is right. A good com- oh, there it is. I got to screenshot comment? these comments for future. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty good. <laughs> Uh, ha ha Gonski. Thank you, Travis. <laughs> bye bye, Pete. Oh my god, Pete, you guys. Pete, goodbye, Ski. Everyone, <laughs> was it a good call, guys? Let, let's hear from the audience, man. I mean, that you asked them, you were gonna wait till it's... next week to run the poll. <laughs> well, he's not blocked from uh, Bass After Dark on. Thursday night, so oh, sure he's not? Be... I don't think oh, so. No, wow. wow, I don't think he is yet. Yet, I think Grimy got blocked. It's still Grimy, Grimy in here. Uh, he's he's back. Now. Oh, there the it is. Truth. The truth. The truth. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we do. We'd be back. There he goes. There it is. The truth is back. I can't handle this. <laughs> you can't handle the truth. You need me on that line. You want me on that line. You want me on that line scope, JP. You can't handle the line scope. You need me on that scope. <laughs> Did you make the live scope call? <laughs> Jack Nicholson in live scope. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that Jack Nicholson like the, scene? What was the I movie? Like the truth what was anyhow. the movie? What was the movie? What was the movie that Jack Nicholson w- went off, man? Oh my god, it was awesome. You got that right. I made that code red call. You won't. <laughs> he just went off. Wow, on Jack, you what just happened? Yeah, a few I good agree. men that Matthew Weimer. That's Ron, right. That's right. Ron. It's we're gonna change it to a few good scopers. You need me on that scope. You want me on that Do scope. That, JP? <laughs> oh yeah. I, I welcome I welcome that guy to touch anything I own. Yeah, so he's making threats, dude. That's the problem. Like now he's threatening his fuck with his boat. You know, he was on the stream. I don't know, maybe it was my show. Um, who, who threatened to talking touch about his boat? you know telling me he, 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 he can see my house. Unit plug. Did you hear that, yeah. Eric? What happened? No, I didn't hear. It. Sorry. It was, all, it was it was on a bass after dark. No, he's on there telling me he, you know describing my house to me because he took my name and googled it and found the address yeah. and looked up. Yeah, it's like yeah, really, dude. You know, mm. that's the kind of shit you're dealing with. Like that's some really low life shit. And and somebody that's made millions and has a lot going on for themselves, they ain't spending their time doing that. The guy has got a zero ounce of truth to him. But but listen, Travis, who is he? Who are you paying to do this? Because it's brilliant, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. Your best intern to date. His power comes from you. His huh? power comes from you. It does. Sure. All right. I'll ignore him like everybody else. Just and we'll try. Allow, we'll, we'll allow crime to run rampant in our cities. Just try. Oh, I don't man. know what else to do. He's just going to pop up with something else. What are you going to do? Yeah. I'm going to find out who he is. I got brilliant kids, dude. <laughs> I was telling one about it before I came in here and jumped on. And uh, it's already fit, thinking about yeah, how I guess I, I, I guess if you do make threats... Um, that is serious. They they have yeah. that cyber crime division. Yeah, it's no joke. That's a real deal, man. If you start mouthing yeah. like you're gonna go destroy property yeah, or talk, hurt somebody. Yeah, talking about where people live, talking about people's wives, talking about fucking people's yeah. boats. Yeah, real yeah. winner, dude. No, that's yeah. that's like that gets to the you know, it gets to a different level. Yeah. Um, so anyway, just word to the wise. There you go. There it is. Wow, what a wonderful! Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> Back to what COVID happened? Live. 
Oh yeah, right. Those were the good old days. Oh, you guys. <clears throat> Anywho, good stream, man. Hmm. Come on on the stream, Pete. Bring yeah. Over your head on the stream. Do it. <clears throat> that would let's, require let's have a email. conversation about it. Let's just talk about it. Tell me, tell he's, me why. He's not doing that. He's why not? not doing that, bro. He just won't. Why? It's not the, it's not the mo of a troll. Trolls like to troll in secrecy. No, come that's on. What, that's what a troll. That's what a troll join, is. Join us, Pete. Okay, well, you, you, we've made the Traps, invitation. The What's that? Unless Send Travis me. knows who he is. Like. How would Travis, I know who he is? We think we know who he is. We've told you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know Brian and I are Brian and I are certain we know who it is. Yeah. And we're not going to say. Okay. Because that gives him an opportunity to run for cover. Oh. But we're certain. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You got to think about motive. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Florida, New York. Have, who would have the motive to troll your show and stir up your guests and one of huh. your favorite people on the planet named Brian the Carpenter, who's nah, nothing but be supportive? I'm just the only person that answered the bell. He's been oh, fucking with oh, I answered forever. The, I answered the bell. I did. I did. I you won't run. You won't run. Guaranteed. Come on. Come on the show. All right. We're gonna. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna switch things. We're gonna. What's the word I'm looking for, JP? I don't know. You got what spice you wanted. Spice things up. What are we gonna spice up? This is spicy enough. It, it diverted the show again. That's right. We got our announcer JP down here, and JP is gonna fire away. And now we're three at questions for all three of us here. <laughs> and let's start with uh, start with me, JP. Go, Travis. How many times this summer are you going to accuse me of not finding my own fish to bring clients to, <laughs> and make me feel like I'm less than a human? Although you do let me stay at your house free of charge, and <laughs> open up, good. you know, basically. Any opportunity for a conversation and throw clients my way, at what expense does it come at my uh, at my feelings this summer? Because last summer was pretty hard, but I'm just wondering how hard it's going to be this summer. This show just got really real. Over a dozen. All right, that's good. all right. Twelve. That's right. that's that's not bad. It was it was twelve a day last year. So, <laughs> all right, Eric. Yes. Could you please send me? Two of the secret spinner baits that Brett Carnwright did so good in the Invitational on, so I could try them in the muddy waters of Ticonderoga. And two of the bass tanker stickers. My kid really wants one. Would you like half ounce or three quarter ounce in those flavors? I would like half ounce, please. Got them in stock. Okay, Thank done. You. Two of each. A coleslaw, and you want the red kicker blade, right? Yes, sir. BTC. When do I get the with your fine self in the back of my 521R so we can go out and just have a great time because I think me and you could have a good time out on the lake. I'm in. All right. But you're up He's in New York in. now? Yeah. You're talking that's about awesome. you're that's talking about that sticker, right? The St. Lawrence Super Tanker? Yes, sir. That's the one he wants. Okay, that's available, by the way, on the Bass Lab. For anybody who's new tonight, you can get those. I got a whole range of stickers, including Tug Life. Yeah, babe. All right, well, uh, round two. Round two, Travis. Great. Wow, JP with the hard-hitting questions. <laughs> Being that there's basically no tournaments going on at Lake Ontario for the spring, <laughs> summer, not until the early fall, other than guiding, what do you plan on doing for your sole purpose of entertainment? <sighs> Fun fish. Oh, good fast, I guess. Mess around with some walleyes. Gonna there's not going to be a lot of tournaments. There's not a whole lot of tournament. Last summer we had a lot of fun, you know, fishing a bunch of tournaments yes. in the early season. And well, there is, wow. JP. I messaged you about the ABA, what those two words meant. 
Yeah, the ABA team series. They're going to get about two boats on betting. Okay. What? And oh, then, wow. Why? I want to ask you a couple questions, JP. There is some uh, like local bass clubs that have opens in June, if those are worth getting in. I think anything's worth getting oh, up Oh, and then I wanted to it. ask you if we can get in. I, I was supposed to ask you on March 1st. The uh, Thousand Islands Open is going on, which is the, big, the biggest tournament up there. When, right? when is that? You, you win a boat. The same weekend that the ABA solo is out of Clayton. I have Dude. that open. Go, go in a boat, man. Yeah, I'm in. Traps, go in a boat, bro. We're thinking about Yeah. It. Why would you do it? Yeah. Are you kidding me? I'll let you borrow what? my rod. Yes. There you what, go. Whoa. What what is what whoa wait, 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 wait. What is the hesitation for you two to team up and go win a boat? I don't get it. Uh, it's, it's different than that. There's a, there's a decent first place prize, but then everyone who makes the day two cut gets a key to the boat, I think. And then you turn uh, it. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. Where, what's if, the ABA solo going to pay first place? Do you know JP? The ABA solo 150 based on, um, 200 boats, which they're not going to get. Yeah. Um it is is ten thousand dollars. So I don't even think they'll get a hundred boats. Are you guys so be, do that one? So they might get over sixty, you get Camus cash. You know, it'd be probably a six thousand dollar payday, right? Um do if it. they get sixty, yeah. yeah. Do it. You guys gonna do it? Huh, you guys maybe. gotta get in those things, man. What are you talking about? You gotta do it. You're right. There is a waiting list. Uh, like new new people that wanted to fish it, uh, were able to call in March first. So, <laughs> it's got the country music playing. Who do you think? All right, JP, he, ask he's Eric he's... his question. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's I'm my second round question, Eric. Yes. How many times a week do you look at your phone and it says Big JP on it and you think to yourself, do I really have to answer? Why does he keep calling? Never. I okay. answer every time. <laughs> yes, you do. Do we talk almost daily. Yes, we do. Jeez. <laughs> About life and work and fishing and opinions on live scope and what would you think of this, that? And I tell him how proud I was to catch my personal best on not live scope. Um, and he likes that. He likes that I'm a natural fisherman for now. Fair enough. Not saying I never will, but I'm proud of my personal best largemouth came on. Something I thought of on my own. Using my natural instincts and patterns. I'm proud of that. I really am. BTC, three bodies of water. You got to choose one. Lake Ontario, Oneida Lake, or Lake Champlain? Ooh. Champlain. Champlain. Okay. Large mouth or small mouth? Just randomly gotta answer that question. Like yeah. what am yes. I targeting on the plane? Small mouth. Okay. If you were gonna target large mouth, would you want to do a above the Port Henry Bridge or below it? Above. Above, really. Large mouth in the clean water. Okay. Wait, wait, where's Port Henry Bridge? Port Henry Bridge is north of Ticonderoga. Oh, oh. I, we always went and fished in the north end of the lake. Um, I've been to Ticonderoga. I think I've only fished it two days in my life. But we always, we started going up to Champlain in the early 90s and renting the cabins on North Hero and South Hero Island. Anyhow, dude, the fishing back then, fucking retarded. We'd rent 16-footers with a 9.9 on the back. And... Throwing a spinner bait and catch as many fish as you could. It was just, it was stupid easy back then. Mm. It's changed. Changed a lot. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm. But <clears throat> I'm used to the north end of the lake. Carry on. Carry on. Travis, your best educated guess what day in April will the smallmouth make the big push shallow in the St. Lawrence Ooh. River? Wow, April good one. 1st. April 1st. And oh, how deep April will they be? Ooh. 
How how deep how shallow will they be? They're going to be as shallow as two feet and as deep as thirty. Oh, geez. thanks for your uh, plethora of knowledge on that. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> nice. <laughs> JP, I like this question and answer session. Travis, good call. Yeah. <laughs> this is Epic, good. Why is Travis Epic Eric. <laughs> Yes. You're throwing a buzz bait with a gold blade. What color skirt do you want if you hand tie it? Black with a little bit of flashaboo. Flashaboo. Yeah, or I'm throwing a frog on the back of that thing. Z Crawl Jr. Z Crawl Jr. I'm taking the skirt off and throwing Z Crawl Jr. It's part of the classic uh, Bojangles twelve thousand dollar classic win. What can I tell you, bro? And another win. That black buzz bait. I just said seventeen thousand dollars of winning. That played a part. My chatter buzz. Pantoon, by the way, rusty ribbit and all. That helped Travis win thirteen five. On the Potomac. All right. So, uh, so Pete tried to come back. We put him in. Uh, we we scolded him, and then I think he has another account. And I just booted that too. <laughs> oh, you JP, ever... you're getting twenty questions with JP. New segment on Smallmouth Crunch. I like it. I All like right. it. Here we go. BTC. If you ever eat the fish tacos at the ninety nine restaurant, <laughs> the ninety nine. No. Okay. Good answer. <laughs> What's the next restaurant? Exactly. He's not a North guy, but that's okay. <laughs> it's up North. And it was a big discussion with Jamie from Samata Spades came on. Dude, those guys, it, it was a classic moment of Travis, JP, nobody getting <laughs> together for dinner, people going their own way. You never knew who was telling the truth on this show. That was a couple segments ago. Travis is at the bar. He gets ditched. JP ditches Jamie. Jamie says he doesn't. <laughs> Oh, oh, it yeah. was hilarious, dude. Oh my god. It was like a, it was and like an inquisition. And then it ended. And, and then JP went off on the 99 restaurant how shitty the food was. So he wasn't going there to eat. Thank you, JP. Yes, I'm, I'm passing on the fish tacos at the 99. Okay, I, I would agree with that greatly. <laughs> Let's see. Travis, did you get a new rub rail put on your canvas for this season? Uh hmm. No. No. Man. <coughs> okay. Let's see. Epic Eric, when you're throwing a jerk bait in slightly stained water off the end of a sloping point with cobbles at the end, do you put a red <laughs> treble hook in the front wrapped with lead? Well, if I threw a jerk bait off the end of a point with cobbles, yeah, I might throw a red treble for sure. <laughs> I love a red treble, bro. You know it, man. I threw a red treble. I'll show you my red treble this weekend. <laughs> this last uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at Kerr. I caught me some red treble fish, bro. I'm all about it. Caught the big and the most both days. And what hook do you put on your jerk baits? Gamakatsu number five, round bend. Wilbur, I kind of like the background music. It was like uh, getting With your the red Question. The bronze, the bronze, just, baby, bronze, yeah. baby. Bronze, bronze. Whoa, man. Um, I'm not down with the with the heavy, but it's wild. Mm. It's crazy. It's my least oh, favorite you know genre. Is. Oh, is it? <laughs> you're telling me you're you're a rapper over a hard metal guy? Who? JP, Yo. there's some lead on a bronze Gamakatsu number five, bro. <laughs> All right, Travis, we get in a boat accident out by <laughs> Little Galoo. Oh, no. Yep. It's winter time. We, we were out duck hunting. It's late November. It's freezing. Unfortunately, oh, it's my turn to go, so I pass. Okay? Okay. You're stranded because the boat sunk, and there's no one around for days. Are you A... Gonna start a fire and eat one of them disgusting coomerans, or B, hacking my leg off and having a real bro bone. I would, I would not eat you. I wouldn't have your body even on that island. I would push it out or with a stick. Okay, if I knew you were dead. 
Dude said and, uh, I get his leg off and he's a real <laughs> pro <laughs> Eric, you all right, bud? <laughs> We got in the comments that you need to come up oh. with a new current babe with the color bro bone. Bro bone works in the spring, especially in cold water. Uh, oh my god. Okay. I needed that one. That was good. That was good, JP. That was that's money. Uh, that's right. gold right there. <laughs> He's gonna oh. react in my leg off. <laughs> Where'd you come up with that? <laughs> oh. oh, Travis, what are you gonna do? <laughs> are you gonna eat his leg or what? <laughs> How would you cook it? <laughs> I'll tell you the reason I asked that question. I want to know because I just, it was so random. And the I reason it. I asked that question is because last summer I said to Travis, I okay. said, dude, here's a hypothetical situation for you. Yeah. You got a big tournament coming up on a Saturday, <laughs> but I dropped dead on a Thursday and my wake is scheduled for Saturday at 10 a.m. <laughs> you come into the bro's wake and he told me, no, I got a tournament to win. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, what I, I mean, he's going to try to do it in your honor, I guess, maybe. <laughs> uh, it's what JP would want me to do. Would you want to win the tournament or come to your wake? Man. Just so your feelings are known. <laughs> in case the worst should happen. And you come back with one leg to haunt oh, him. Man. Oh, you ate my leg. You ate my leg! <laughs> One-legged ghost. <laughs> Hawks Travis for the rest of his life. <laughs> you ain't my leg. <laughs> you started laughing where you probably didn't hear what I, I wasn't able to finish. I said, I, I if could, I man, knew I'm JP sorry. was dead, I would push him with a stick off of the island. Like if I'm stranded on the island, I don't want some dead body on the <laughs> island with me, right? You're not going to take his body back to his family so he could be buried? Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> Just well, I figured they'd find him eventually. And, well, no. Tie some braid to him and pull him across. All right. Oh, but no, yeah. I wouldn't eat you, JP, and I wouldn't eat a cormorant. I'd be able to... I'd be fine for a couple <laughs> couple weeks, actually. All right. A couple weeks? With what? Your trail mix and your sunken boat? What are you going to eat? How are you going to forage on that Galoo Island? There's some seagulls out there. Maybe, maybe. Oh man, I just called me by surprise, JP. I I just I never <laughs> thought that was coming. I'm sorry, I lost it. I know that was that was good, Eric. I think you needed to get that laugh out. I think that I, I, I for did. some reason some power greater than me made me say that so that you could get that laugh out. And I don't know what you were getting out of. I mean, every I gland in your face opened, and and uh, you're it, good man. now. 
That's awesome. It. Soul yeah. cleansing life. Gonna, that was a, you were going to have an dope. epic sleep tonight, bro. You were going to have the best dope. sleep you've had in months. It's so crazy. <laughs> 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 I can't be serious for the rest of the show. If I, somebody says anything about a bro mode, I'm just going <laughs> to... All right, what's the next question? Please move the show along. Okay. So I can get off this. Turn the top that one. Let me think. Refo, no, it's refocus. Refocus time. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Eric. Okay. It's springtime. Yes. There's a there's a massive shad spawn for the first half hour in the morning. Oh, I like this. You found eelgrass, but it's matted Mm. and bent over. The shad are so thick that when they jump out of the water. They're mm-hmm. laying on top of the eelgrass, violently <laughs> shaking, trying to get back in. What yes. is your first bait of choice? Man, a frog, hollow body, bro. Walking that thing. Swamp donkey. Reaction innovations. Wow. Okay. Epic Eric. Another one. Back to no, back. BTC. I meant to say, I'm sorry, I meant to say BTC. BTC. Oh, okay, good, good. I'm just wondering how old that toothpick is that you've been chewing on like Tony Montano for the last 20 minutes since Black uh, yes. he got banned. I got a whole box of them, cuz. All right. I got a stack of dead toothpicks over here. I don't think BTC <laughs> likes the JP questions. All right. <laughs> no, I got, I got, I got I, this. This is a great through, topic. Like, so, so part of the now. 20 questions with uh, JP, we can sometimes take a topic and, and add to that. So I want to know. Mm. There's two things I, I have a hard time understanding. One is toothpicks, just chewing it. Mm. Second is sunflower seeds, not the kind that are pre-cracked. A bag of sunflower <laughs> seeds. Oh, I love sunflower seeds. It's on and off. Is the music on and off? Uh, it's fine. The yeah, I'm sorry. Thing. Can you repeat the uh, sunflower seed one? Are we putting the ones that are not cracked like a whole? Ooh, there you go. We know Look how is. hard it is to uh, to get like all the effort it takes to get one little seed out of a sunflower seed. It's just there's a lot of work. There's there's something. There are people that have uh, that need to chew that like to bite. It's very carnal. It's very uh, not everyone. It's, magnet. it's it's no. But I'm Do saying there are some eat people sunflower like seeds because they like the feel of it cracking in their mouth. Or yes, there's something satisfying about. It. I'm one of those guys. Me, I don't want one little seed. I want to stick my hand to a bag and eat a bunch yeah. of seeds. Okay. Yeah, right. You like the All easy right. way. We like the hard way. You want to go. Right. Fucking... <laughs> no, I like I to grind that rock for a bite. You want yeah. to shine the light and make one cast to catch the fish. We're different. It's the fucking salt. It's everything. It's it, There's something about cracking that seed in my mouth that I like. Hmm. I just like conversation. How many people in the last 60 days have bought sunflower seeds? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't, let me say yes or no in the comments. Good one, Travis. I haven't had a sunflower seed like that in a while, man. You're right. Whatever Uh, flavoring is on the outside of the shell, sucking on it. Burn. Burn from Jersey. (laughs) Had a bag of sunflower seeds and Frank's Red Hot. Oh, pumpkin seeds, man. There you go, Anthony. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, no, 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 no. I have negative. No, no, no. Yes. No. MJ, I have had a drive that went till 3 a.m. That's another good thing. On a long drive, man, try to spit them out the window, though. Yeah, and then they fly back in, though. That's the challenge. Oh, do you have you done that? (laughs) Well, so like a chipmunk, I put the ones that have the salt and flavoring, like a handful, pop them in on this side. Crack them and then move the edges. Is that the to proper? That's a that's a great topic. Is that the proper way to eat a sunflower seed? Or do you take one or do you put them in your mouth? All of them? No, I I put like a pouch over here, so I'm ah. getting the flavorings, the juices. You then know. Then you I'm, do you do you oh. split the seed and then save all the seeds so that way you can I, eat it all at once too? That's what sometimes I, would do. I do that too. I save a few okay. up or I might eat one. You know, so I got a lot of different ways. Like I, might I would have to crack like fifty to sixty <clears throat> seeds to to feel good about that bite. 
You yeah, know? I put the I put the ones that are uneaten under the tongue. Then I move the shells okay. to this side, and then once I have enough shells, and you like can't eat a shell, right? There's nothing wrong with that. No, it's uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's good for you, but uh, yeah, I like chewing on the whole thing. Sometimes I've done All that. Right. Spit in the. Have you ever put so many food. sunflower seeds in your mouth that by the time you got done cracking them all and moving to the other side, the tip of your tongue felt like it was going to split wide open because it was salted right out? <laughs> I've come close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you yeah, ever put like so many sunflower salt. seeds in your mouth that <laughs> you turned into a giant bitch and created a, created a troll account on YouTube? <laughs> To talk shit for no fucking reason because you could just be a normal person and be on here, but you had so many sunflower seeds that you create a fake account and come on here and brag about yourself and tell everybody that you're you're rich and you're handsome and you're fast and you run every day and you lift weights and your lawn's beautiful <laughs> and no one asks and no one gives a fuck. But you do that because you had so many sunflower seeds. <laughs> That's a lot of sunflower seeds. Three pounds while on shrooms. Have not touched them since. <laughs> That's funny, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Three pound bag. I, I probably would try without the shrooms. <laughs> I fucking love eating sunflower seeds, man. I haven't eaten Now I'm kind of tempted to try it. Maybe I'm missing out on something. <clears throat> There's something about like I think it's like um if you like chewing gum or um you know it's like the Dill, whole toothpick thing, man. He uh, likes the, he likes I've chewing something. <clears throat> What'd you think of it? I liked it. Like I said, it just seemed like a lot of work. Yeah, barbecue, dill, regular salt. I think yeah. there's been some old bay, salt and pepper. Man, oh, yeah. Meat yeah, pop is the best part. Have you had them? No. Meat pop? Yeah, meat pop. Meat pop what? Sunflower seeds. Never had those. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. <clears throat> yeah. That's it's a good thing to know about my friend. That's right. <laughs> Meat pop. Who's ready to go cranking this spring? Raise your hand. What's the first crankbait you're tying on, JP? Is that square bill? <sighs> no. You're going to have the trap on. Yes. Yeah, I found a mother load of them in my basement. How many got left? Not many. In the box, baby. What's that worth? That XR50 sexy shad. Oh, this one's Half not ounce? a knocker. That's a rattle. That's not a knocker. No. <laughs> What's it oh. worth? What's it worth? Oh, I bet you if it was a knocker one, I think I got a knocker one here. Yeah. yeah. What's it worth? I, this one's still in the old gold packaging. Probably get 60 uh, bucks for it. Jesus, really? Do you they guys swear the that the new ones, do you believe that the new ones are just like the old ones? No. Why? The the Booyahs? Yes. Because the the Excalibur is five eighths and the Booyah is half ounce. So there's an eighth ounce difference somewhere. Don't know where. The color is not the same. <clears throat> and the it's it doesn't sound the same. How about that? And this I mean, don't get me a... wrong. I catch fish on this booyah one, but... Yeah, no, nobody said you couldn't. I'm just asking game you. Day, you I'm put putting the... there, you're putting the... Yeah, good luck with that shit now. <laughs> <laughs> good luck uh, with that shit now, cuz. I'm sorry. I won $50,000 two years ago in the dirt. Man, that was a long time. <laughs> two years ago? <laughs> for real i don't know seems to me the world there were changed. people there were people scoping out there deep man and one of the best ones who won that year probably thirty five thousand dollars on that lake scoping completely scoping sinking his own brush hey granted he puts the work in he builds pvc structures at his daddy's plant and he doesn't have to work at the plant he's out there every day and at night by the way marking where he's planted the brush to see where the blueback herring are concentrated in bass. So nobody can see him doing this, which is very smart on his part. So he is putting the work in to build PVC structures, not brush. PV, I don't know what they're shaped like. Out of PVC, they last a long time and they stay upright. And he's now probably built hundreds of those things. So I want your guys' opinion on that. Do you respect the guy that doesn't have to work a day job like the rest of the world 
builds PVC structures, sinks them, marks the spots, goes out and pre-looks because there's no off limits, right? And then goes and beats your ass with live scope. Do you respect that win as much as you do a win where you got to grind it out on natural cover that's in the lake? I mean, whether you're using I mean, live scope or not. The guy's working his ass off. Not saying he's not JP, but did he find it or did he plan it? It's not against the rules. I don't know if it's against the rules to put shit like that in the lake. Do you know if the DNR would want you to put PVC structures in a lake? Sometimes it's it's you're breaking the law to do it. A depends on the state. Very true. Very depends true. The they state. would might they might encourage brush pile planting. But right? when they I say brush know. piles, they mean natural brush. organic brush. I would imagine you so, cannot. Right? You cannot throw. We're talking about brush or bush. Brush. Pile. No, seriously, Travis. What were you saying, Travis? Bush. You were about to say natural Stop bush. It. I was saying, if you Plenty drop bush. plastic into the yeah. lake and just yeah. leave it there, yeah. I would, I would, have, I would feel that would be polluting, littering, whatever. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah I don't know, man. What I, if they I, planted I, bush? I That's fine, JP. Bush. Yeah, you in? I'm in. Travis? I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like popping a bass out of a bush. I guess, yeah. <laughs> you said it first. He couldn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> that no chance you saying no <laughs> <laughs> now i got brian's funny bone going yeah you go plant that hey that's what it is next question <laughs> next question please <laughs> anyway <sighs> Oh, Brian, no matter what happens, you can't take that win away from me. <laughs> oh, I would never. I would never, ever, ever. Right? Oh, I mean, dude, that's the problem with that, man. No, nah, that's the realest one, dude. Yeah, that's what I feel like. I really do. That's just my opinion. With all the technological advancements, we didn't lean on that, which is awesome. And there were plenty of people who are really good with it up there. And who are JP, this has been outstanding, by the way. Outstanding work. Yes, very good. I love yeah. the Q and A session. It was fantastic. Oh, he, hey, I got I got a dime the drop here next week live Whoa. on Monday night. Big what JP has a life changing announcement to make. <laughs> Whoa, um, a life changing announcement oh, yes. coming from me. I know what you're saying. Big JP, we've, we've been talking about it for weeks. You guys, right? you guys are gonna have to tune in next week Sunday. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Sunday, Monday, Monday. Monday. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Travis, oh, this, nice. JP is transitioning. No. This summer, are you going to continue to look like Abraham Lincoln's nephew with uh -huh. your half hearted beard with partially gray hair poking out of the chin? Or are you going to be the clean cut machine that we all know you as up in Clayton, New York? Ooh. I haven't decided yet. I thought about that today. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you had to make the decision, game day decision right now, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Keep it. Okay. No. Let me tell you something, Travis. Beards. Sorry for people watching. Beards are for ugly dudes to camouflage the ugliness. Oh, who knew? That's what I thought. Just saying. Don't let them suck you into their vortex of beard. Man. And I'm saying that as a man who's 52 and can't grow a beard. So, <laughs> well, maybe that's why you're saying that then. It's probably right. Yeah. So, I'll take it for what it is. Uh huh. Interesting. JP, back to you. Eric. Yes. First daylight. Yes. Heavy fog. Ooh. L light mist, but the tournament director says you're going. So, you, you go, right? And you're running across the lake. And a flock of snow geese is flying pretty low to the water, which isn't normal because normally they're yeah. sky high, right? Yeah, right. And there's so many of them, you can't make that right 
into that cove you wanted to fish because there's just millions of these yeah. goddamn snow geese, right? Yeah. <laughs> and instantly in front of you, sun rays start to blast through the clouds. Yes. And you see shad breaking in the middle of the channel. Yes. Finish the story. I'm, I'm going to keep going because there's boats behind me and we're dying if we stop. <laughs> you can't. It's it's filled with snow geese? I've never heard of such a thing. Yeah, snow geese. Yeah. Why would you say Canada geese? Or Trying to make the story interesting. I don't know. Oh. I was, you know well, it just killed the story then. Damn. Okay. Damn it. Travis, um, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that was a fun, fun one. Yeah, I like that. BTC, you're fishing a tournament on the Chesapeake Bay. <laughs> Your tournament partner has a seven pounder hooked on, 50 pound braid, flipping a jig. It gets caught up in a shopping cart that some scumbag pushed into the river. Okay. Meanwhile, to your left, to, to your left there's a doe fawn swimming for its life, but it's struggling. Mm. Are you A? More concerned with getting the fish in the boat because it's a game-winning fish for the $50,000. B, telling your buddy to click the bail open and you got to do what's right and getting the deer out. And Why would you out. say do what's right? Maybe it's not right. Why would you put that scenario into his mind just now with that story? It's all right. Let him, let him run it. Let him run it. And, and, then, and, then, and then after. And, and then C, get save the deer potentially catch the fish would you bring the deer to the shore or would you bring it back to the way and so you could tell the story <clears throat> well um i would be inclined to go after the fish for sure because we're yeah. in, we're in a derb and that's what's that's where the focus is in any other situation i'm going to the deer um if the deer is still there after we get the fish in the boat i'm going <laughs> to picking the deer out of the water and putting it on the bank okay unless it you know seemed like really chill and like it wanted to hang out and, and we started vibing then maybe the deer hangs for a while and we see where the night takes us you did say doe so <laughs> what is msm uh, M mainstream media oh mainstream media. okay mm -hmm. travis if you could have a dog what kind of dog would you have german mm. short hair pointer and what you would could you have, have a dog what do you mean if yeah why don't you have a dog is yeah a better question. no no <laughs> What was the second question? What would you name it? Oh, Gobi. Trail fans. Yeah, that's good. Gobi. Yeah. Gobi over there. Tired of your ass. My face. <laughs> Gobi over there. <laughs> <laughs> Gobi out of my face right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. That's what he would say. <clears throat> All right. That's very good. Guys, it's been real. It has been awesome, man. Today. One more. One more round, take AP pick. fashion. I'm going to bless all three of you with a goodbye individually with a motivational speech before I take off. Travis, I hope the skies are blue and the Browns bite tomorrow after you get your elbows injected with a synthetic pain reliever for your tendonitis. And then you hit the lakes of Lake Ontario in your Lund boat. And I hope that you plentifully catch brown, brown trout tomorrow. And really yeah. dial it in, and then follow it up with a couple nice walleyes for the table. Ooh, Eric, one, GP. talk to me, bro. After you had the the, the eye opening experience of a good bro bone laugh, <laughs> I just want you to know that you are going to sleep like a baby tonight. And tomorrow at seven fifty in the morning, after I put my kid on the bus, I'm going to call you because I got to drive to Glens Falls. Let's do it. <laughs> Boom. BTC. I got to tell you. I was on the fence on whether you like JP or not before tonight. I don't know. The whole situation with the stakes and Dave Monsoor, and I wasn't really sure if you were vibing me or not. But I can say Mansu. Mansu. But I can say that tonight, I think we brotherly bonded. I'm getting <laughs> Pete Jablowski permanently removed from Smallmouth Crush. It brought a tear to my eye of happiness to know that I don't have to listen to that asshole anymore on this show. And I'm glad that I was able to bless your presence and let you know that when times get tough, Six foot eight, two forties behind you, Brian, and I got you. Wow, my oh, man, Peace. Oh, man. that's beautiful, bro. That's beautiful, man. Wow, hell yeah, JP, way to close it out. He's Ooh. out. That's that strong. was awesome. Very strong. Where can you find that on a bash show on the web? Nowhere. Six eight.
big motherfucker. He yeah. is. Let me tell you, man. He's a protected papa bear too, bro. Yeah, protects Travis like it's his own. Mm -hmm. Travis? Travis? Yeah. Over to you. How do you feel oh. about this? Oh, it's your show. <laughs> yeah, shit. Were you guys I'll... supposed to be done this hours ago? 35 yeah. minutes he gave it. That's why I was talking at 100 miles an hour. We had a good show tonight. Yeah, I thought so. Very good. Reflecting back. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Best moments in small mouth crush history. Laugh out loud moments. There's been a lot. Yeah. Mic drops and everything. Rants. Uh -huh. Laughter until you couldn't speak. Arguing, fighting like family, making up. Man. A lot of fishing, little conspiracy here and there, debates. It's a zaniest show for about fishing that I've ever seen. So it's meandering, no agenda, uh, no show notes, no topic, no review. Never know where it's going to go. That's right. Like life. Anything you have to add, BTC? Not at the moment. No. <laughs> I'm not fucking yeah. No, <laughs> nah, it's, it's all good. Um, thanks for having me on or something. Man, thank you. Good, good stuff. Good conversation for sure. Thank you for teasing us with the uh, BA, the Bass After Dark um, topic. <laughs> topic. Oh, that's funny. That's a fucking great comment. Right? <laughs> you, are very the, true. you are very forgiving. It's a fact. It's a fact, man. Um, but no, seriously, I do see what's going on, and it's 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 remarkable. Like, it's remarkable to see the rookie class come in and do what they're doing. Like, guys have been talking about it, <clears throat> and, you know, I was paying attention, like, like, they're gonna they're gonna hurt some feelings coming in. It's like, yeah, I think you're right. But to see it happening, to see it, yeah. holy shit. Everything's upside down. Everything. Everything we knew. It's all changed, man. It's very powerful, interesting. Very powerful tool. Mm -hmm. The forward facing sonar is. And especially when you master it, it changes a lot. You know, I have feelings both ways you know i personally i like using it i think it's i've always been on the boat and i've always said god i would i i wish i knew what it looked like under the water like holy yeah. shit if you could just see under there and see what's down there and now you can that's pretty wild um, side imaging showed you what was down there 360 showed you what was down there live scope shows you was swimming around <laughs> and, and it shows you in real time that's what i'm saying build, yeah yeah, like, it's kind of different than just being able to see what's down there. You're actually seeing a fish. Who fucking cares it's what's way down different. there? And, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And those fish aren't necessarily easy to catch. They're not. They're but, suspending. They're roaming. We, we've it's always not like known a fish that's that a dock that's going to bite. You yeah, know, this, these are fish that aren't. Trying maybe to they bite. are. Maybe they are. But they, I don't know. I don't know. They're pretty much. Sometimes biting. they are. Sometimes they aren't. But I don't know. People, but yeah, I mean, I hear what you're saying. You know, the, the learning curve on fish behavior is through the roof. Um, and it's, I don't know. I, I, I definitely don't have the answers. It's, it's, it's interesting. It's an interesting conversation. Um, I can see why the older guard is, got, how they got caught, you know, in this situation, why they're upset. Um, I can see how it's... You know, you can't blame these kids for doing what they're doing, but it's different. It. I don't think we've seen anything like this ever in a Never. professional sport nothing. of any sort. Maybe it's Not happened even, in nothing even close or something. Nothing shit like even that. close. Darts. Nope. I don't know, but nothing even close. Unprecedented. Like another ten's coming next year, and another ten after that, and we're going to see a complete mm -hmm. turnover. And Unless. <laughs> so what you're telling me is Randy was right. Unless it needs Unless. To be Unless they make a change. I think they're going to make an adjustment. Um, I think they'll Maybe make, they won't. 
Maybe what they won't. would the adjustment be? Just one <laughs> unit? It's still going to dominate. I, I, yeah. Yeah. And I don't know enough about it, honestly. You know, but I think it'll be a limitation. Perhaps. A limitation yeah. on how many transducers you can have or or screens. I don't know. Travis, in your opinion, and you know the technology much better than I do. What would a what would a, a limit like that do? Like what it would you go with if they said one? What would your setup be if they said one forward facing trans? Just one on the trolling motor up front. That's how it. many you got now? There you go. I ran three, but I'm running two this year. Oh shit. I ran up three, yeah. Yeah, he could spot lock and then turn to the what's the turret pole? That was pretty cool. So do you think just do you think the limit would have any effect? No. Uh uh. Then why would you spend the money for more than one? Well, because there's for me, I like one on the pole and then one on the trolling motor. So when the trolling motor's on spot lock, um, or when I'm I, I use both at the same time. I I'll turn one at my right angle and it's permanent and I'll scan with the other one I'm looking or if I'm drifting, right? If I'm drifting, one's always straight behind to see what I'm coming up on. And then there's one that is going, you know, wherever, when I'm in the current. The Devin, Trey, Trey, Trey moved in on some docks at one point on the last day. He didn't go out the last day and only skip docks. <laughs> Let's just be honest. That's, that's, that's actually what happened. Trey was scoping all day. And he moved in on some docks and caught a giant, broke his rod, whatever. Um, awesome fisherman. I'm not trying to diss him at all. Incredible. Like, dude, 19 years old. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Mm. And if you hear him speak, it's like he was created in a lab to do this, you know? Like from day <laughs> one, amazing. they give all the lines, you know? I don't know, man. I'm not as impressed as you are. The technology is world class. It's unbelievable. It's literally military grade. That's the amazing part to me, not the rest of it. It's 19 years old. That doesn't, I'm not, I'm not, it, that, that's the part that doesn't phase me. It's expected in my mind. It's the technology that is stunning. That's what I'm stunned by. It's military grade stuff on the front of your boat, it's military radar. It's unbelievable. What are you talking about? Dude, it was <laughs> developed for ships to see what they were going to do for like, like it wasn't developed for bass fishing. What are you talking about, bro? It's military shit. It's that good. You realize what you have on the front of your boat? What's it work? Do you even Is that true, it? Swim School? He bought his own stuff. I'm not familiar with Trey McKinney. Um, I don't know. And honestly, I, I, I kind of assume that it's you know he's team grandpa's kind of a situation so i don't i don't know his story but who knows man you never know until you you never know unless you're in the family you see the bills bro yeah you never know he might he might have saved it all bought all of his own stuff you don't you just don't know you just don't yeah. know it's like you look inside somebody's life and you think you know you never Cap. Do. No. you never do yeah yeah uh, Lumpy Grumpy says the tech is two, 263. Travis would say that it's thousands of years old. We've had it before. It probably, Travis might be right. We've had it's technology nice. many, many times. Yeah. We get reset. Not every 138 year is a major are, one. Are you still on that train? Always will be. The chronic I didn't know, the, dude. You were not reality. on the. Listen, you have changed your mind on a lot of things over my ain't years with you. You're pretty. St I just wanted to check with you because you know how you move. You find new stuff all the time. I just wanted to know. I wasn't trying to stir you up. All right. Forward facing still Travis. Still on it. You're still solid on it. How many years we got left, Travis? 17. 17 i'll be 78 not you're not gonna your your avatar isn't gonna expire potentially when it happens but I, this reality I, will be shaped much differently than what you think i know you think that but i don't but that's all right okay that's fine if you knew the truth and you actually studied it it would be you've tried to get me to study it 
I've studied yeah. a little bit with you. I've heard that I've spent hours listening to that guy and it okay. still does not resonate with my soul. It won't. It won't. Cause you're not even from this reality, dude. I, well, I don't know what reality I'm from. I think I'm from the planet earth and I'm a human. That's oh, my reality. Oh, you believe, oh, you believe this is an earth and it's a planet. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, we've had that circular conversation. So many like times. Like you so. think there's a universe and like we just were here and then we die. hundred percent. Hundred percent. Oh my gosh! I don't know what happens after I die. Didn't ever say you that. Think, you don't think? Did ever say that? Did I? Illusion? No. Oh hell no! I That's believe crazy. my soul. As That's as crazy. sure as I'm sitting here talking to you, I believe you're another human, flesh, blood, and all. I have a soul, a soul, but this is <laughs> yeah. part of the reality. This is part of this world. Yeah. This flesh. Yeah, I, call that, I call I call yeah. that life. This yeah, gets left life. behind here, bud. Maybe. What's yeah. that? BTC what? No, Travis said he had a soul. I'd never heard him say that before. Uh, that is kind of new. That is kind of new. He's I, strong. Yeah. Where are you at with that, Travis? Let's talk about that. I see hey, you're not right right now. I'm, I'm trying to go through the comments here. No, but go no, ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd he go? He Maybe. needs a did you get another olive? For sure. Uh, something like For that. Sure. Uh, I know what's happening. <laughs> All but almost every live bass after dark. Yes. 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 All but well, fortunately, all but three. Three. Yeah. Huh. Anyway. What are you guys even? I don't even know what we're doing right now. Me? I, bro. <laughs> Taking a leash. It's your show. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, Travis McKinney might be on Bass After Dark Thursday night. Nice. Woo! It would only make sense. Who's going to be it's the protagonist? Is it gonna, it's going to be a puffball show, and it's not going to really be, you know, how you guys architect it. Are you just going to do a puffball layup for everybody? Puffball layup. I can tell you this. I can tell you that nobody in the fish. I just industry, wondered. I just wondered. No, well, I'm trying to answer it. Um, nobody in the fishing industry wants to be uh, even Milliken and Blockett that are outspoken, professionally outspoken uh, yeah. anglers. Yeah. Neither one of them like their experience on Bass After Dark. With the yeah. debate that they got into, even though they were both treated completely 100% fair by us, for sure, they themselves engaged in activities yeah. that I think, after the fact, they weren't proud of. Um, I don't, which is unfortunate. Uh, you think Randy felt that way? I felt like Ben probably felt that way more than Randy because Randy w was a little calmer. If you, I know, would. neither one of them would share anything. From being on the show, fair, uh, which was interesting to me. Yeah, I get why Randy didn't. He didn't technically win the debate. Man. Who did? Anyhow, I don't. Think, I don't um, think anybody did. You're right. So, no, just saying, people just don't want to engage in that. But we will be having uh, the younger, you know, the new guys and the older guys. Mm. Weighing in on this topic, uh, I think it's. I, I like the way we're going about it. Honestly, cool. yeah, I think yeah. it's going to be more productive this way. We're going to do it in two parts, and we're going to dig in deep, deep. Why two deep. parts? Hmm? Why, Why two, two parts? He asked. Why? Well, yeah. Why two parts, he said, Brian. Oh, oh, somebody said why two parts? Yes, Travis did. Because, because it's the size of the topic and, and yes. you know, <clears throat> to get to get one young angler to represent that whole age group, to get one older, I don't feel like you can really cover the topic. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the first show with the younger anglers and we're going to throw the questions at them, get all the information mm -hmm. from them, and then we're going to mm -hmm. have the older uh, the kids part one, the curmudgeons on part two, 
and throw it all together. And this is what the they curmudgeons. say. Kids versus. Oh, so, so they're the curmudgeons. See, you're you're oh. you're not being a reporter right now. You're being biased. No, right now I'm being BTC. I mean, talking shit. Fair. Right podcast like i'm talking fair, to you fair, that's a yeah fair 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 how, fair, fair, fair. How i'm gonna be on the show why well, I, I so you're kind of, are you leaning in with like your opinion my opinion um i think my opinion is pretty even honestly no I see you did it, a, a moment ago you could said it was understandable <laughs> Just because I say right. too much, it just fucking rhymes, dude. Relax. <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah, I don't understand why why they wouldn't be together on the same episode. <clears throat> fireworks, no fireworks. They don't want the fireworks. I don't no, like that. They do want the fireworks? I don't think we're going to get it as good. Be as I don't think we're going to get as good and complete a story of, or information. Ah, very interesting. Interesting thought. Because, dude, who wants to? This, this hell they are. Nobody wants to fucking speak out. It's going to be good. Trust me. I, I think it's starting to loosen up a little bit. I've heard for the first time, whether you liked it or not, and whether you like Live Scope or not, or Ford Facing. Sorry, Zaldane interviewed a couple pros, and you could just see the absurdity of it all. Zaldane is good people. At the boat ramp to see who spent the yeah. most on their Ford facing. It was just really quick, really great editing. I just liked it. it was fast. It was raw. It just got their opinions. And to see Brian Schmidt from, you know, my home river, the Potomac, who fishes grass, like he said, this deep. He had four on the console, clearly not helping him, three up front. And he, and he just like, 50K, he just got to. And then Brian News like, I have to, but he goes, this ain't fishing, man. That resonated with me more than anything. And I respect Brian New. He's a hell of a stick. He's using the technology. I don't know if he's competing against the new generation. Um, but I think it just... Of course he off. is. Of course he's competing against them. Uh, no, what I mean is I don't know where he's placing. I don't watch enough tournaments to know how Brian New is doing. Oh, okay, I don't, I got like it. I'm not glued to live. I haven't even looked at his stat that he finished at the bottom of the pack. The middle of the pack, they had a great day one. I don't even know he's in the conversation anymore. I know he was a good stick before this from Carolina. He's, but, you know, I just thought that that, for me, that's just my personal view. I'm not saying it's the right view, but that's the one that resonated with me. It was refreshing to hear a pro that wasn't an old curmudgeon and it wasn't a new 20-something. And it's a guy that's used to working and fishing and fishing patterns the way I see bass fishing say, this isn't really fishing. I'm like, uh, fair, good. No, that's, I, 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 that's, that's my view. Remember, it's just how I feel. And you yeah, know no, how I like the fish. I like the fish without it. I know I'm on a boat with a guy who's a master at it, and he's putting me around them. I love when I fish with Scooter and fish fast. I know we're getting beat by it. Do I love it? Nope. Do I like that there's, you know, guys planting brush? Not really. But it is what it is. It's the game. So if we want to be competitive in the future, gonna have to learn it i guess right yeah and listen i i, I don't know that scooter's gonna want to fish anymore with it i honestly well, don't maybe you I, have time for me fuck face it's it's very true i can have a lot of free times on my hand so it's uh it's sad in a way to see it have that impact on a fisherman that you know it, it's just it's weird it's weird it, it's weird it's a thousand percent weird it, it's really nothing weird. like this. I don't think has ever happened in in, a, yeah. in, in fishing or any other, yeah. you know, like I said, professional sport. I, I truly yeah. believe that it's it's unprecedented times, and it really is. It really is. And my preference, like, I get Randy's points about it disconnecting you from you know your intuition. And but why? Why argue about that? Let the angler make a choice. No, no, right? no, no. Right. I agree. Hold on a don't, get, don't, don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad about Randy. Stop it. We're having a really good productive. I'm just, no, snake. I'm saying look, look, that's Randy. Randy's doing Randy. Right. But I'm saying like, regardless of, you know, he's the one who's saying it, but other people say the same kind of shit. Like, you know, Rick Clunz, you know, camp next to the lake. You know, he didn't stay in hotels because he wanted his body to be acclimated to the temperature around mm -hmm. him. And he wanted to be able to connect and vibe with, with what was going on in nature and, and being able to read, you know, the birds are chirping, the birds are moving. You see, know, see I, I identify, you're hitting, cool you're hitting the point for me. You're hitting the point for me. 
I, I as a person, I as a person, I'm just talking to you personally. This is not a statement about professional bass fishing. This is just me as a human being. I'm a feeler. I use I'm a, I use intuition, right? That's how I fish with Travis on the back of the boat. That's how I fish with Scooter on the back of his boat, right? He's fishing fast. I'm fishing fast, slow, if you will. I'm finessing behind him. And I love the fact that I'm using my mind and I'm okay. connecting okay. with all the things. But that's that, just my personal That's experience. great. Don't, you know what? You no, go no, no. I don't, I don't think. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think you think it's great. I'm not. Look. Don't try to prescribe anything for me right now. I'm just talking right. about my personal experience. Yes. It's not a commentary on I you at all. To... Okay. I got gotcha. you. Are you trying to compliment it? I'd like to compliment to... it. Okay, go ahead. You can go pull up at a campground, erect a teepee for all I care, build a fire. No, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. Before you're the not tournament, ground yourself, listen to your birds chirp, okay? You're not. No, Get you're just mocking the morning it. Sun. You're, you're mocking it. It's okay, dude. And you it's can okay. still go out and use live scope and crush it and have a great day. I use I don't use live scope and crush it and have a great day. Now what? We're different, bro. Woo! And that's all that's all it is. We are different. We will never be that same fisherman, and that's okay with me. Don't try to turn me into you, and I won't try to turn you into me. Mm. I acknowledge you're great at it and you're fantastic with it. And I know I benefit from it, but I like, I'm more proud of my catch when I do it with my rod, my reel, and my line. It's and your just bare hands. And, and honestly, I don't deny the power of it. If I was a pro, I would be learning my ass off with it. If it was my job, I wouldn't be going, let's change it all. Let's, let's ban it. It's never going to happen. It's too much money at stake. The industry's got too much to lose. The electronics guys are so powerful right now because they're making tons of money off the sale. They sponsor multiple tours. They're ingrained in the industry. It will not happen. Mm -hmm. It will not happen. Maybe there'll be some modification like Brian pointed to. We'll see. Well, I'm just talking about from me, my personal experience. Do I want to see? I would love to see what would happen if the new guard could compete with the old guard if they did a one tournament with no forward facing. Use it and practice all you want, and then go out and fish. And then see what happens. And then you answer complete. the question. But I got it, but it's the put up or shut up moment to say, is it the technology? It answers the Nobody question. Nobody cares. Of an, you. A lot of people care. No, they Travis. don't. A small see, minority of people. You really don't know anything truly about care. it. You, okay? you don't watch it. You don't uh, listen to it. A small minority of people it. really, truly Who knows? care. I really don't know how many do and how many don't, Travis, nor do you. But it would really end. There's so much debate about it right now. And look at the comments on any post about it. You'll see a lot for and a lot against. I don't do the stats <coughs> and I don't do the numbers. But wouldn't it be fascinating because the Bass mm -hmm. After Dark show is a brilliant show. The brilliant show that asks the question, are we seeing a technological revolution or a youth movement? Right, it's a brilliant question, and that's what made Ken Duke and what Brian McCarthy so brilliant in this business. But the only way to prove it is not to bait it, but to put up or shut up, take it off the front of your fucking boat, fish a tournament, and if the rookies still whip their ass, then you'll know. Put up or shut up. Just somebody right. fucking sponsor a hundred thousand dollar tournament with a hundred one elite guys and go. You can practice with it, but come tournament time, you can't use it. And then if the rookies are still in the top 10 and beat the ass of the curmudgeons, you <coughs> have your fucking answer. It's the youth and the way that they can fish. What would make you, uh, BTC, what would make you more fulfilled? Doing well in tournaments and catching fish and getting plaques and rewards and making a living fishing. Or having to salvage your career by putting clickbait up and taking advantage of the <laughs> latest topic. <laughs> I mean, are they both? Yeah, come on, man. It wasn't even a real question. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he just taking a shot at, at old Randy, and, and that's no, it ain't no shot. Just yeah. ask him. Would you feel better about your life knowing that you're growing on YouTube because of clickbait or because you fished well? Fish well. YouTube. That's, that's what I thought. Oh, I mean, fish well. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. The money's in YouTube. Is it really? I don't know. 
Travis knows. But, Travis was early in the game. Yeah. I was. But to prove the point. Like really early in the game. For, for, for a decade now, bass fishermen are slow to react to change. You know, when we started Ike Live, it was – painful to get people to understand what a podcast is and to put, put a podcast phone on your app so you can listen to it anytime. Of course, now everybody's got sat and figured that out, but they're right. just slow to move. And this technology has been coming. It What's shocking to me, like I knew this was coming with this young crew. It's shocking how much the older anglers weren't prepared for it. or like they've all got it but they're not they haven't been using it as much like mm -hmm. that is surprising like it's a tool that came down the line and they didn't run to it and i know mike stayed away from it and he's got his reasons you know mike's what were his reasons the whole way well his fishing style is you know to outwork power. Yeah, and power and, uh, and power like, and, well, Everything, yeah. every movement he does is about efficiency and getting the most casts per day and covering the most yeah. water per day and, yeah. and you know, all that. So the concept of holding a rod in his hand during tournament hours and not casting, the dude will explode. He will literally, <laughs> you know, he, he can't. He's got to yeah. let that in. You know, but yeah. Mike's extreme. But, you know, there's so many others out there and it's, do you think this will hurry up his retirement? A lot of people. Because mm. I know he was maybe thinking it was going to last a couple more years, but it's done. I'm thinking there's a you lot. Think this is his last massive. year on tour. Maybe. I'm thinking there's going to be a pretty big turnover. I mean, oh, yeah, sure. Those no first two thirds were really, really one sided. Mm -hmm. Toledo Bend was extremely one sided. At oh, least. Yeah. The Bork, some guys were fishing shallow. You know, cold front kind of screwed them yeah. over. It set them up for it, but it is what it is. It ain't the first yeah, cold front the bass fishing. Cold front pushed yeah. them back out, and it really set it up for. Um, That's no Yeah. They should have all tournaments should be October through uh, February. Why? For the scopers. <laughs> I'm oh, that's funny. Man, come on. I uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, very interesting, man. Great, great show question. Wow. Two parts. Got it. You're separating them. You won't have a bunch of arguing, which is cool. Hopefully, some people are realistic and honest. We'll see. I'm sure you got great guests. You know what I mean? Yep. No, I, I, fascinating. I, it, it, I think it's a really interesting topic um oh it's the it's the hottest topic in bass fishing right now yeah i mean randy's views went from i think uh he was he was starting to slide a, a month ago travis down there you know 700 views and uploading them boom 20,000 40,000 yeah yeah so travis i mean we're posting a video that's from the fine i'm not i listen he that's his opinion everyone's entitled to it it's just but remember the people that follow him and view it are the ones that pretty much agree with him so uh, i'm gonna tell you the people. eric i bet you 80 percent of his views are coming from people that just want to see that type of comments and entertainment that's entertainment for people watching his channel it's not because Maybe. they want to watch or listen to what he has to say if you look at his track record if you look how he competes if you look how he fishes if you look at that he doesn't adapt to what technology is there and still waste money fishing tournaments opens or whatever he's doing i don't know what he does i don't, I don't he's just trying to preserve the tradition of the, the sport guy. well apparently you, you do you wait a minute you do you're one of the views i am one how of can views. you know how can you have an opinion and know so much about him if you don't read it and watch obviously him? i'm one of the people that use that as my entertainment so you do watch him but i'm the 80 percenter I got you. You're, you're part of the 80% that watch for entertainment and curiosity because you want to know what the other side's doing. I got That's you. A, entertainment. Yeah. So why do you think he keeps fishing? He loves why the traditional it? part of the sport. He's hanging on. Is he doing it just for money? Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. That's saying though. 
I don't know. Maybe he feels like it's his torch to burn. Uh -huh. I got I mean, inside information that says Travis is behind. The go ahead. What's the insight? Inside, inside info. What's the inside Coming. info? This Travis is behind the troll. Just go back and look at the tape. Watch his, <laughs> watch his, tape. Read, read, watch watch yeah. his fingers. Watch yeah. his fingers. He's been typing Take on the keyboard pulse. all night. Ah, we're going to have to hook him up to a lie detector. He's so Pete your Jablowski. <clears throat> You're Pete Jablowski. Travis is Pete up. Jablowski. <laughs> Travis, you're Pete Jablowski. Who is it, Travis? Who'd you put up to it? I don't know. <laughs> Travis, you're Pete Jablowski. <laughs> Travis, you are the truth. Wouldn't that be it? It's genius. Travis, thought planet? That. Travis, that's pretty. Yeah, you could tell how he was smiling and, and reluctant. I think he's involved. <clears throat> okay. BTC, are you so. sure? Mm. I'm still trying to get through these comments right now. I know, right? It's interesting. Mm -hmm. It is interesting. Not everybody on here is in favor of it. Not, not everybody's on uh, against it. No. Uh, if you ask the question, would you put a limitation on it? Would you guys like to see a tournament where there's no forward facing to see how the rookies do? Um, I mean, would I, you I, prefer I, to fish a tournament trail where there was no forward facing? If you were an elite pro, what format would you want to fish? There are all sorts of great questions. You could do polls on all that stuff. And then you'd find out what your 198 viewers that are watching right now feel. Instead of me and you just trying to guess at it. Put up a poll. I, if you were an elite pro today, <coughs> would you rather fish an elite series that allowed you to use forward facing in practice but none during the tournament or no forward facing? Do you want to fish old school or new school? Because that's really what it boils down to. Uh, What's it, your preference? That's such a dumb. Okay. You could call it a dumb question, but it's a question. What's your question? Well, I can go smart? to a hub offshore and use What's it your question that's smarter? Game? No, no. I did. I said uh, a tournament with none of it. Not you even said you practice. Could practice with it. I would throw out three different formats, bro. Okay. A, a completely non forward facing tournament trail. Old 2D, nothing forward facing for the same amount of money or fish the new school way with no limit or fish a tournament trail with a limit. What is your preference? Or fish a tournament trail where you could use one in practice or unlimited in practice and then none during the tournament. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's, there was going to be, I guess there is going to be a Lake Lanier, a uh, hundred thousand dollar tournament no forward facing it's april 1st it's done they got a hundred and some odd boats it was supposed to be three hundred thousand, but they only got 120 boats five grand entry fee you can use forward facing in your practice none during the tournament april 1st lake lanier did you hear about that brian you scrunch yeah. your eyes like i don't know I've, I've heard i've heard a couple different leagues this, this one's happening it's already set. They already have their anglers. It's April 1st, Lake Lanier. Scope and practice, no scope during the tournament. $100,000 top prize. If you could put up five grand of deficient. April Fool's Day. <laughs> oh, you think, it, you think it's a hoax? No, 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 dude. They've been doing it for hey, a while. Hey, fuck you, Chris. Bring what happened? Back. Go fuck yourself, dude. What a fucking knuckle drag. Uh, Anthony, yeah, damn right, dude. I'd love to see it. 15 pounds of tackle, secret lake, no, no fucking forward facing. Oh, hell yeah, I'd watch that tournament. That'd be fun. Yeah, I'm not putting five grand up for a derb on April Fool's Day for a league that I know I. nothing about. Fair enough. Brian the Carpenter's out, so he's not fishing. I, I just feel like they, they're like, uh, yeah, here's your sign. Well, by the way, I mean, it's going to be April 1st on Lanier, so a lot of fish are going to the bank. So now it's an iScope tournament. <laughs> I'll be honest. I, 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 I don't like fishing, you know, fishing for spawning fish, sight fishing. I, dude, there's a, that I don't could like be a whole all. topic. It, that could be a whole Bass After Dark topic. Ban should, uh, should, should uh, uh, spawn tournaments be banned? Another topic um, for your show. Okay, you know, all, fish, all species spawn. Okay, 
So you got your walleye. I think you got your, I think you got your guests for that show. So because a walleye doesn't make a nice, pretty bed <clears throat> that you can visually see. We we gotta stop catching walleyes for a month as well, guys. It's no, bad. we have to let them spawn so that we can continue to enjoy catching them. It <laughs> makes sense, dude. Let allow the thing. We're the stewards of the sport. What the term is when it's they're spawning? The that don't I, fish I, I, oh, I saw burbot spawning under the ice two weeks ago in Wisconsin. Am I supposed to have to hook one because they're spawning? Jeez, Travis, it's a burbot. You, you thought it's it was a, a snakehead, fool? Don't tell well, you me. You know what? That that burbot tasted like lobster, Brian. Are you going to eat it? Hey, no, oh, asshole, that- throw it back. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go catch that burbot if it tastes like lobster and I could dip it in some butter. Listen, I'd love it. Here's what I'm saying, Travis, because obviously you get all fired up. You just point it at me. Yeah, oh, Wave Currents tonight says species can spawn twice a year. So if you ban that, how do you figure out the ban period? Good point. These are what spawns questions. twice a year? Were we talking about bass or no? I don't know. Grad says he'll do both to compete for sure. Anthony says hashtag ladders. Good job, Travis. You cheating fuck. Um, what else we got? No, what I was saying was my opinion is I don't care for spawning tournaments. I think it's, I, I think it's potentially uh, harmful to the resource, and uh, seems immoral. So, yeah. really, fuck yeah! What do you mean, really? If they're about to fuck fucking lay eggs and, and propagate the species, and you yank them off, take them on a goddamn alien abduction in your live well for fucking eight hours to six miles up the river to to the to the way in you don't Ryan, think that that might happen. ryan we Look, fished a tournament to the together you that. had no problem netting those fucking fish did you no well that's Whoa. the fucking rules i'm just saying right well, i'm saying my personal opinion i don't care for it and we weren't sight fishing travis yeah I travis. a couple you did oh all right and that one there you were yeah but that was well after the spawn was was done. You were looking for late late ones. Oh, but that's okay. He didn't like it, Travis. It was your fucking boat. So you're what okay with you late, late late abortions? Is that what you're no. saying? Oh my God, stop it! Well, you got more opinion about this than a jerk off that's talking shit on all your friends on on the chat board. Who yeah, are you, Travis? Who he likes it, you, dude. He likes it. I told you he likes it secretly. He was smiling and giggling. Damn, he's doing dude. it again. He's doing it again. I can see that cracking that smile, man. <laughs> no, I'm just a, saying this that's has my been opinion. a rowdy show. Rowdy so show. Talking rowdy about show. Forward facing being immoral. I, I feel like sight fishing is kind of like that. That's all. What? So wait a minute. You think sight fishing is immoral, but you don't think forward facing is to harass that's that back for said, 15 Eric. minutes. Is that what you said? No. No, I'm I'm only asking you because since you think sight fishing is immoral, but because they're spawning, it's different. It's different. It really is different. No, no, it's really different. I'm just trying to work it out in my brain. I'm understanding what you're saying now. I get it. I get it. Let me correct what I just said. A spawning fish is doing that to reproduce, to be, we're supposed to be stewards of the sport, leave the bedding fish alone. Great show. Sport facing is not catching a spawning bass. It's catching a suspended bass. Different story. Got it. Okay, 10-4, Brian. I'm with you. I hear you. But this has been this has been rowdy, dude. This has you been good. So? I think it's been rowdy. I think it's been interesting. I think we've covered a lot of ground. Uh, I asked a lot of questions. I wish we could do a lot of different polls. It would be fascinating to see what people think of your subscribers. Like when we had 300 on, if you said tournament format a tournament format b tournament format c tournament format d changes you'd like to see e f if they bring that out would you still watch would you enjoy it more You're totally against totally for who's in the middle you learn a lot because it's anonymous poll it's an anonymous poll nobody has to know who answered which way right but when we ask the question you can see everybody type in the comments so a lot of people won't put their opinion in the comments and that's fine they don't want to put themselves out there I'm putting myself out there every night on this show. I tell you authentically how I feel, and it's a personal thing. It's not any commentary on the elites and what they're doing. Um, it's more of how I like to do it. Okay. And don't get me wrong. The novelty of it's funny. I told you I was at Kerr cranking. I caught the shit out of a scooter. I had a blast doing it because I love to crank. You know that about me. 
I didn't look at any of the fish I caught. He had it up there. I don't even know if he was looking. I don't think we had it on at that point because we didn't want to ping him. You know, maybe I caught more because I wasn't pinging them or he wasn't pinging them. Right. Um, Man. And then, you know, I told you we were drifting around the pocket, Travis, and literally saw some suspended fish. And I'm like, that looks like it might be a bass or two. And I literally, ha I got my little jig head minnow out of the, the rod locker on my Loomis. I had eight pound test on, three sixteen ounce head. I wish I had an eighth because I was sinking a little too fast. Travis, you would have been impressed. I made the cast to get it over their heads a, a lot. I guess my casting accuracy probably 80%. And it was really dialed in. You could see the bait. You could see it sinking down. You could see me working it to him, you know, tight lining it. And I had one fish come to it and merge, and I I pulled too fast because I, I, I felt the fish hit it. And I did. I should have just let him load up on it and just pull set. I was pissed because I want to see how big that fish was. It could have just been a one-pounder. I don't know how to judge him. It's not like I was watching the tail wag or whatever, however yeah. you see that they're big. You never know. Yeah. And then we tried to find them again for like 10 minutes. And we couldn't. So anyway, I tried it. It was fun for a minute. I wouldn't want to do that a lot. That would drive Scooter. He would rather jump in the water on fire. No, stay out of the water on fire. He would self-emolulate. What, what are we listening to? Trav, you miss uh, Contra Hawking? No. No? Hell no. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who's old enough to remember that spinner bait skirt? Huh? That's a spinner bait skirt. It's plastic, like worm plastic. That thing yeah. looks so cool in the water. <laughs> really? I caught a big ass bass on it too at the front lake in Crofton, man. Look at that thing, dude. Who remembers this one? Did anybody ever throw a spinner bait skirt like that? Sound Shrink off in the comment. I, I don't even remember what brand is. I feel like it's Mr. Twister. It does look like an octopus. Helicopter skirt. Yeah, man, that thing has a lot of action. Look at that thing. Should bring that back. <laughs> anyway, man. Well, well, there, there you have it. Yeah. Great show, bro. Good job, Travis. We do got to shut her down eventually. Yeah, yeah, good job, Travis. I mean, for only for wanting on to make a 35 the dark, minute maybe. show. No, sorry. Go ahead. I just wanted to thank Travis uh, when he came on Bass After Dark back in the back in the day. That was awesome. Epic yeah. Eric, you've been on twice now. And, thank uh, you. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Love you guys. Hell yeah. That was I'm a lot sorry. of fun, man. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Trav, take us out. Say something. Say something amazing. Amazing. Yeah, like I have a yeah. pulse. Say it. something. Okay. Something profound, man. Man, I just had go a profound thought, but it. it go kind full of screen ended. on yourself. Full <laughs> screen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Beard's too gray for that right now. Oh what? Yeah. Is that why you've been all so sad and blue? I, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Low T. Yeah. <laughs> Low tea. <laughs> low, tea, bro. low tea, man, uh, dude. It's inevitable. It's fucking math. It's science. It's physiology. It's happening. It happens yeah, to us all. Dude. You only got seventeen more years to worry about it, bro. Seventeen more years until the reset doesn't mean you're not going anywhere. You're still going to be here. What's going to happen again? Can you just tell everybody one more time in seventeen years what will happen? Have you adjusted your fact, view of it? It's a dead fact that the vapor canopy will return. And what does that mean for us? That means you're going to have a hard time adapting. You're going to be able to. You won't see the sun. There won't be sun. There'll be a lot of uh, uh, a lot of moisture in the air. Mm -hmm. it, it's basically uh, it's an interesting time. It's it's very dark. It's a dark dark time. Is uh are things gonna evaporate like you said, like everything will melt to dust kind of thing? I'm like, not sure about that. All know. my crankbaits and stuff in here are just gonna be dust, sawdust. No, 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 no. You're no no no, dude. It, it oh well okay. but then you told me that before. It that's I wouldn't that, have any clothes, I'd have a loincloth, and I was gonna have to okay. run to a boat and get some gold coins to go to Egypt with you. 
And I'm that's like, no, six I'm not years after it, the reset. Six years uh, after the reset. That's when things go to dust. That's when you do not want to be in North America at all. I don't care I if you're at the you highest that. elevation. I'm just gonna walk into the ocean, bro, and never come out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna blend into the salt, bro. Okay. I ain't worried about it. I don't want to be here for that. No, I'll you wouldn't 85. worry about it. It's fine. You're just gonna. I'll be 85, bro. Bye. I yeah. had a nice life on this earth. Yeah. But yeah. No regrets, bro. Not turning okay. back. Yeah. I'll wave bon voyage, man. As you get on that boat. There you go. You. Enjoy your life in Egypt, bro. Catch me some whatever oh. there are over there. If you're still fishing. Waves current ice. That's all volcanic activity. Massive volcanic activity. Spewing ash will cause the vapor canopy. The famous vapor canopy, which is, I think, would be our fourth vapor canopy in this simulation. Okay. Yep. Cool. That's Excellent. where you get your giants. That's where you get fossils of the large uh, plants, reptiles, animals, we'll call them. Not hmm. dinosaurs. Not dinosaurs. Oh, got it. Just Things that grew big, okay. Okay. Are you going to grow period. bigger? Are you part Our of the legacy of the will, vapor will be affected by the eight? Will be affected by the ambient radiation from the volcanic ash, and okay. you will grow just like the scientists who grew. Uh, where were they in Japan studying the volcanoes? You will grow. They grew two inches during that study back in nineteen. I think it was oh three oh four. Gotcha. You hear about gotcha. that, BTC? What? <laughs> oh, I thought you were agreeing with me. Never mind. He, he watched Godzilla. He knows. Okay. No, I was listening. Godzilla. Somehow I still wasn't following exactly what you were saying. It's Godzilla. Just know that. It came from Japan for a reason. Godzilla. Here's my. Here's what I can do with my right arm right now. Lift it with my left. Jeez. Oh God! Oh, oh no, no! Yeah, you supposed to do that? Don't do any more. Right? Don't do this motherfucker! No, no, don't! Oh my gosh! Don't do any more. You supposed to be doing that right now? Yeah. Okay. I'm supposed to do that because I can't use my right arm to lift my right arm. But were you supposed to do that? Yeah. I got to get my mobility back, so I got to push through how how often do you have to do that what's the what's the instruction seat say that's what i wanted to know they, they fucking suck dick what don't you can't up, but you can't you can't call them and say how many times should i do this with my arm every day as much as possible i gotta get my mo my motion back okay okay so they said yeah. lift it yeah. like that as much as you can did they say that's the only motion you're supposed to do for before you go to real PT, right? This one, okay, not not that. You want to you, you don't be doing that. Oh, that's making me shiver to my nuts right now, dude. I'm thinking yeah, I gotta. It. Yeah, huh. it's wild, man. I'm still sitting here with this. No, 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 no. No, it's just that. Like six weeks, dude. Damn. With that fucking clear band-aid on there. That's wow. fucking crazy. It's wild, dude. If you look up what they did, they fucking sawed off the top of my humerus, sawed the ball off the top of the fucking saws all. Then they <laughs> took a punch and they drew, fucking hammered this punch into the top of my arm to put a dent in it and then took the titanium ball that has that same profile. And hammered that in so it's a press fit into the top of the bone. Unbelievable. Then the bone grabs it. But the top of the but, but the bone when they cut it looks like a two by four, you know, like just grain, like you know, like and they fucking hammered that shit in there, put That's the ball on, and then they took took a, a like a cheese grater on a drill and oh. they and they shaped my socket to fit the ball. Actually, what they did first was cut the skin and sever the shoulder muscle. And then they went in there and did that shit. So once they got the ball and the, the socket to fit the ball, they put the ball back in, closed it up, and then they sewed the muscle back on. So I got six weeks to let that muscle um, just take where I can't, like, use these muscles on my shoulder. and still use my wrist and my elbow. And during that time, I gotta fucking stretch it. 
Huh. Hey, I want to ask everybody a question. After and it hurts Brian, like fucking have, hell. I got yeah. to clear my mind, dude. Uh, oh. And Go then ahead, I get Mark. to start doing muscle work with it and get it to... Huh. Whatever. So I'm a ways out yet. Oh, dude, you're... you're it's six months. Easy. Anyway, Brian, what do you think of my blue crab pattern, bro? Green pumpkin back. Light blue. You see that little orange on the belly? Ooh, that's and beautiful. Look at, that, look, look at that red fin. Oh I painted my that myself. I painted that. Did you? Travis, I painted that with an airbrush. Oh, good job. What do you think <laughs> of it? Isn't that a cool ass, isn't that a cool ass little fucking yeah, blue man, crab proud of you. That's great. Come on, man. Give me some juice. I Ain't that a that. blue crab? BTC. We throw that don't, on the upper bay in the grass. I mean, I'd have to Google an image of a blue crab to see exactly what it looks like to compare. Al but allow me to show you side by side image. I've already done it for you. Give me one second, please. <laughs> I don't know why I like that song. Space is the place for the human race. <laughs> wow. Anybody know the name of this band? No. King Gizzards and the Lizard Wizard. What? You knew it? <laughs> Travis? Travis, you really know it. How'd you know that? Huh? Who put you on That's... that? Did, did you should really that? Right King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Yeah. I'm getting close. <laughs> Clay, I'm out in my garage about 70 feet from my house. Detached garage, my friend. It's the key, key to success in life. Or nice lawns, I guess. If you that bag from earlier. Yeah. I agree. I'm still looking. What are you looking for? God, man, I don't know how far back this is in my photos. What in the hell? Must have painted that thing a long time ago. <sighs> yeah, I probably will. What? I won't be able to make any money off of this live. What, oh, the just, music? The music? Yeah, BTC. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> it's too late now. They got me. No, oh, are you serious? How do you know? That's loud. Yeah. Huh? All right. Damn. Oh, I had it. Oh, this is killing me. Oh, Jesus. All right, hold on. Oh, Jesus. What are you looking for? Come on, Pete. What happened? He's back? I thought he, he might have came back in. How? I got to figure out how to permanently delete him. Oh, boy, he's back. Well, guys, since we're all on our phones and... Uh, wait a minute. No, here it is. Here it is. Live. Here, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. There it is, bro. How do we convince 176 Look. viewers to stare at Look. three dudes just staring at their phone on a live <laughs> show? There yeah, it you're is, right. man. You're right. 
Like, how is that Pete. possible? Because Pete. There, there it is. All credit must go to Pete. It's Pete's fault. No, it's Pete's. No, it's all, no, all credit must be given to Pete. If not for him, none of us would be here. That's right. Look, look, there it is. Dude. Did you know Pete? Pete has a. Uh, Maybe I'll go a little darker. Has on a the bunch back. of rental property think? in New Jersey. He says he does. And he loves to catch them to tog out of his Lund. Look, 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 look. look I know look. that. What the fuck was it doing? Hold on, Eric. <laughs> now, come on. I, well, that's what I've been waiting for. Fuck, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? Because we're getting to the root oh. of this, this uh, unique. Uh, I'm taking this picture. Situation. Screenshot. Listen, man, nobody I know that's made it legit plays like that. It's just it's out of character. It doesn't fit. Mommy and daddy maybe set them up with some properties. I know some people like that. But if this is the game he plays, he's not an intelligent individual. Because that's that's just this is fucking low. I hear you. Slow life shit. Like, yeah. who cares about that? Who has the time to care about that? When you're busy, everybody I know that's been like that, they worry about them, their own shit. They worry about themselves. They're always building themselves selfishly. Selfishly focused on their goals, which, you know, is what it is. Sometimes it feels like they're being selfish, but it's they're focused on their own shit. So... Anyhow, good job. <laughs> <laughs> right, you back with us, bud? I got. Can I send this back, dude? I'd love Please to get it, it back, back eventually. Aren't you? Well, you I, just got a, I got a problem right here. See this? Can everybody see the eye? What's wrong? But oh, we got a broken eye, Travis. Yep. See that? Yep. Right there. Uh huh. Saint Lacroix. <sighs> might need Saint to Croix? Dude, you, you put it. You put it in my truck. You just bring it up here, bud. Well, I haven't gotten up there yet. Well, I, I do have a. Uh... I was supposed to come up there. I have a, I have May six available. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Yeah. Come up with Eric. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know if he'll be ready. Fish, man. He don't want to catch fish. He can't he come can't up. Nah. Uh, I don't know, dude. We'll see. I gotta get this thing back in shape. For punching Pete in the fucking face, and then I'll worry about casting. All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Who knows who this guy is? Fry Giant and Rich. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't know. All right. Did I get it right there? Look, look. Look, 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 look at that blue. That blue is spot on, bro. I got the blue right. The blue's green definitely pumpkin. the brown, not so much. Oh, it's green pumpkin, bro. It's green pumpkin. I got to make the back darker green pumpkin. I can All see right. that now. See, I got to put a little bit more darkness on the back to make that a little bit brown green pumpkin. It's not bad. God, it's even got purple in it, man. Yeah, with the red little highlights. Guys, what's your PP largemouth? Largemouth? I not officially really weighed, but thirteen. What? No, on the scales. I have thirteen, a twelve, eleven, and a nine in the same forty-minute stretch. <laughs> what the? Were you fishing, dude? I swear, Fuck you. Fuck you. Where was oh, that? Okay. Where's the thing? What a lie. Which Where was that? Doing? You caught a teener. Where? And where's the Florida. picture? Where's the pictures? In uh, it's before pictures. I'd have to look. 
I have them. I I'd have to look. Are you high? Okay, Is that I missed on your favorites in your phone. Guy. There's something really <laughs> wrong with you. I missed the cut on the Harris chain with the 13, 12, and 11. No, and a, and a nine. So the next day, I found a lake that I decided to drive to the just fun fish. Okay, and I spent all day, well, the morning fishing the lake and could not yep. find anything. Um, yep. Like, like it sucked. I came right. into a cove. I found. I saw a big bass on the bed. I threw a. Uh, what's the biggest sink of the make nine? No. Eight inch. Seven. The big seven. No, not the seven. Yeah, seven. I'm sorry. Five, seven six, is seven. The yeah. biggest. Yeah. Yes, I threw a seven inch senko, wacky rigged. And caught it, and that was the first nine pounder. Yeah, that was my PB. All of a sudden, yep. right? And yep. I was like, "Holy shit!" I go another. It's I go another like six feet. Another one. Okay. Okay. That was the twelve. Uh, no, it was in order: nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, but but and ounces? Did you weigh them in ounces? Yeah, the scale. I mean, normally, it. when you when you weigh a fish, you have eleven. Even if the scale is not accurate, it'll tell you eleven four. But for some yeah. reason, they're all hold numbers. That's really weird to me. This is suspect already. You know, right. I'm talking like a real fisherman that catches a double digit. Because because real fishermen will tell you ten three eleven eight yeah and thirteen one. So if I recall at the time, the battery I was using, or mm. there was a glitch in the screen, so I couldn't see the ounces. I just, I just, I need to see the pictures and then we'll judge you. Did you really? This, this yes. is it story? I caught a 9, 11, 12, and 13 pounder within 20 minutes, not 40 minutes, 20 minutes of each other. So you caught a 45 pound bag of bag. And my smallest was three. I had a three pounder that day. So you well. had a 48, 48 pounds of fish. With a three pounder. 48. I swear. Take pictures of them. Yeah, I got them somewhere. I had to find them. It was only 2000 and allow 2011, I think it was. Yeah, how did you take the pictures? Were you by uh, yourself? I <laughs> I put mm -hmm. them all in the live well, mm -hmm. and I drove back. I drove back to my hotel, and we ended up. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't the Harris Chain. It was the St. John's River, and we okay. ended up our. The hotel had a parking lot, and I had yeah. my video guy do yeah. take a bunch of pictures and stuff, and then we dumped them in the St. John's River. Did they swim away? So he was yeah. your video guy? Huh? He's your video guy? <laughs> yes. Who's your video guy? Yeah, who's this? This sounds, really, sounds really weird. You had a video guy? Such <laughs> a liar. <laughs> That's what my video guy. This Who's is the video story guy. My life. What's this his, is the story what's of my his life. Name? I tell the stories that are true and accurate, and and I get <laughs> this type of treatment from people. What's the video <laughs> guy's name? Yeah, I had a video guy. What's his name? T.J. DeVoe. Oh, T.J. DeVoe. You know him, Brian? Yeah, if, if, you, if, you, if you don't get T.J. DeVoe on this show. Or get somebody to pretend that they are, and I wanted to see him. I want to see him hold up his license, so we can see who TJ's the vote. I, I know, I know of TJ. You don't know. TJ. I mean, I know those words exist in in reality in to make a person. My I video guy, TJ DeVoe. Did he eat? Did he eat a bro bone that night after he took the nice pictures for you? You have to find them. Calls him Teach. <laughs> Teach. Teach on the bro bone, yo. <laughs> oh, I wasn't. Oh, I wasn't on the Harris chain. Oh, I forgot where I was when I caught the forty-eight pounds. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Dobsky. 
the bowel scene. <laughs> DJ Devoe, my video guy. <laughs> oh. Did JP really say <laughs> and ask you the question, would you eat a coot or would you saw my leg off and eat a real robo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> he meant to say his cameraman lead to say Travis meant to say my cameraman was Willem Dafoe. <laughs> those are the best videos you've ever shown. Oh. <laughs> I was really those spinning rocks. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Huh. Holy crap. Willem Dafoe, part three, coming soon. That's right, Mark Marini. Uh, so do you believe <laughs> Eric or not? No, hell no. <laughs> but <it'd be> great <laughs> <life>. <laughs> I, Travis, I believe you. <laughs> there was a glitch in my scale. <laughs> Brother TJ. I drove back to my hotel <laughs> my video guy without a video camera. Take a bunch of snap pictures on a Polaroid camera. Disposable. <laughs> I'd fire that motherfucker for not having a video tape. <laughs> Ooh, that's two really good last night. I needed it. Because I feel like I'm in the Matrix. Oh, uh, God. I got to get some swim baits ready. I trashed this whole stream with the music, too. Sorry about that. I'm over it. I need to get some, I, I huh? to get some gliders. <laughs> Travis goes, oh, I guess I won't be able to make any money off this stream. Thanks, BTC. <laughs> it's only my most popular one of the whole year. <laughs> Travis, considering this, we'll call it even. Uh Oh, I, I don't understand. What happened? What had happened? That's my eye. run. <laughs> yeah, well, it's got a broken eye. Yeah, Travis. Oh. <laughs> so, Swim school well, says you lost me in a nine-inch Senko. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. This is good. This is Travis, good I believe you, dude. I know you do. But wait. <laughs> They they actually went incrementally 9, 11, 13. Wait, what was it again? <laughs> nine, 9, 11, 12, 13, and a three pounder. Where was the three at? It was his kicker. <laughs> I I didn't I I didn't put him in the live well. You almost broke 50 pounds. You would have broken 50 pounds because you got to figure they all weren't on the dot. Three pounder was he a three eight? It could have been a fucking oh three. oh. You want to hear the you want to hear the the best part of this story, bro? <laughs> that three better? pounder I could have called out. So I didn't know much about. So I flipped I flipped in there with my seven inch Senko, black and blue. Wait wait, call out. I you were in the had, tournament. I had it on braid. I had a heavy heavy flipping stick because I don't think I had a smaller stick with me. Anyways, um, yeah. it wasn't braid. I'm sorry, it was fluorocarbon. And I tightened the drag almost to like dead tight. When yep. I set the hook on that, I set a hook on a giant, probably bigger than a 13-pounder, honestly, the way it looked. The thing shot into the cattails and broke off. The rod just went. I set, and the rod went and snapped. And that's when the I knew. Rod I the rod broke? The line broke. That's when oh. I knew I was dealing with some, like, it was a crazy day. So let's say that fish was 10 pounds. So what would that bag have been, you know? 60. Yeah. Honor. It had been the uh, biggest bag ever recorded in Florida for five fish limit. I don't think anybody's done that. No, have for fun fishing, guys have caught. Yeah. You think? Sure. Well, maybe. I don't know. That's true. There's some big fish down there. What were you catching one? Uh, seven inch Sanko. black and blue Senko. Oh, that was good, Travis. Thank you. 
I needed I'm that. not lying at all about no, it. I know. I want to see the pictures from your videographer. TJ DeVoe. I got to remember that. He's Willem <laughs> DeVoe's cousin. He's Willem DeVoe's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Brad Petrie says the 13-pounder coughed up the three in the live well. <laughs> Could be. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. I got to get some to eat because I'm famished. Oh, you're going to end it like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how you be? Is That's there really the 198 people still watching? Yes. Why? Yes. Oh, here you go, weirdos. Here's three <laughs> of them. All right, let's see them. Let me figure out how to do this. Share the screen. I'm sorry, Lee. I was uh, I was opening up a box. Uh, present. Share screen. BTC, did you see my custom Harry made uh, Japan Japan sticks, bro? You see that oh, one? Yeah. Uh, somebody zoomed Didn't something. See? Let's see. Can you make it bigger? Because those are it's a chick. Who's that lady next to you? That's as big as I can make it. Who's the lady next to you? That's that's TJ. It looks like a girl. That's TJ. Yeah. Is it? Did you go shiner? Did you go shiner fishing? That's a, no, those are all caught on the on the seven inch black and blue Cinco. You went shiner fishing, bro. How big is that fish on the on the left here? I don't know. It gets really, really hard to see. Yeah, that was that's me, bud. It's hard to tell. With the bro. visor. Yeah. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Who knows if they're if, cheap? It, you know, they look they look like good seven pounders, man. I don't know, bro. But why is there only three fish? Why does TJ look different? Now? 11, 12, and 13. Why didn't that you is. hold up two and TJ DeVoe hold up two? We he took didn't have the dozens of pictures that day. But why, why isn't there one with two each? That's the only one I could find right now. Okay. It's still a little suspect. I don't know. Did TJ have dark hair? That was a young TJ. <laughs> Before his hair darkened. You went Shiner fishing, bro. That's the guide. Ike's comment on stage at Falcon. What the fuck? What's that about? What, what'd he say? I, I have no know. idea. Falcon. Uh, all right, dudes. I got to get up for a meeting in the morning. But, Brian, did you like my little uh, Harry, Harry uh, fan-inspired baits? Ooh, I just turned my whole thing off. Dude, they've been sticking uh, strands of skirt material through soft plastics for a decade now. Of course. Yeah. Let me see it, Dave. I'm trying to get back to... Uh... Why did I lose I think... my stream yard? That's, That's weird. a very good point, Dexter's. What? There we go. Black and blue always get true. It's a true made story. A, made a bunch of them. It is a true story. I did them on a, a gambler fat ace, like half of one. I think that would get bit, bro. Harry. You did a good job, Crano. That's cute. That's crafty of you. Thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah. Look at look at that little shaky. Big worm, big one, big one, man, big, 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 big hairy rubber. Yeah, yeah. Free BTC, I think you really like this one. Here's a skirt that's just falling apart. Yeah, you can make <laughs> you can make something. Brian, right that. Brian, what do you think of that little finesse swing head? You're Look proud at of that, that one. Dude. I am very. That's a very tough tie. You won't know how to do it. What, 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 what the hell do you do with a finesse swing head? 
With a swing head, don't you want to maintain bottom contact? Look, what are you talking about, bro? No, yeah, no, I'm on the want... bottom. But I'm on the bottom. It just gives the it gives the lure <laughs> movement, bro. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I'm on the bottom. The size is the I'm, fishing. The size... I'm fucking fishing four, four foot of water. It's three sixteenths. I don't need any more. As light as I can get away with. I'm fishing in the dirt with that, bro. But it I gives it a, a lot of, and it's like a little bit of a jig, but a little, but but a shaky head. Yeah, bro. I got you. Look, it does that. It could do this. Anything. If you do it, secondary like action, free swinging. Maybe you like the black and red one better. It's a little smaller. Maybe that's more your style. Hell yeah, dude. Look at that. Look into huh. it. You'll fall asleep. Yeah, it's pretty hard. I'm pretty proud. Of it. Pretty proud of that tie. No, Pretty damn cool. proud of that one. It's very hard to tie. Is it? Like really hard. Like really hard. And and that's on I'll a uh, one I of my favorite. That's a uh, cover shot hook. Cover shot. Cover shot hook. How did he do it? Secret sauce. Secret sauce. Plus, I could change the head out to different sizes. What? You hear me? We hear you. Travis, it's like your gas is You say what? Like mouth breathing right now. <laughs> Travis, you would say oh he's my gosh. Gas for air. Mm, mm, no. bro? I was, uh, I heard a noise. Bros, I'm going upstairs to grab a bike. I'm out. All right, guys, listen, let's do a um... screen. Awesome Thank you very much, man. You going to take us out, Travis? All right, thanks, guys. Nope, we're going to let everyone go. We appreciate everybody tonight. Good record crowd. Still 150 of you in here, but we got to go. It's 11.45 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget to like and share. Subscribe if you haven't. We're here live every Monday. Check out Epic Eric's Bass Lab on Instagram yeah. and the Bass Lab Cartel Tech. Check out Bass After Dark with BTC. Can this, do Thursday. Yes. this Thursday Great night. Show. Coming up. Thursday. A good one. I'll be sure to tune out. I mean, tune in. You dirty bastard. I'm going to wait until... You're going to tune sides. in, Travis, right? I don't want to hear one side and have to wait a week to hear the other. Oh, shut the fuck up. I'm serious. That's you're going to do what you told. Point. It pisses That's me off. Point. I'll wait to watch it. Whatever, dude. Okay. Damn you, Travis. See, I gave up you're too much information tonight. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. He called out. Ken's gonna call you and say, "Hey, I saw you on the on the live show." Buddy. Nah, I think I think I think it's the right way to do it, man. Honestly, that's it fine. I think because so these too. motherfuckers won't talk. They won't. You're right. They'll, they'll clam up. They won't. They, they me, won't. I've been on the phone, and yep. I know what these guys are about. They all clam up. Everybody wants to whisper behind over here, over there. And oh, wanna, believe me. Hey, you yeah, want to say man. it up here? So very true. I've got to set right. the stage the right way to get these guys to openly to speak. Yeah, very true. And find out what's going on in the, in the you know, with them, with the industry, <laughs> this, that, and the third. I'm out. Travis, thanks for inviting me uh, secondhand. Yes. You know, All, right. All right. Hold on. Let me type for pick a flight. Man wants to know one of your fucking people on the message board in order to get on tonight, but it's all right. Oh, see ya. <laughs> the funny no, part is, he, he's still there. He just flipped the phone upside down. <laughs> you can see him in the studio. Nice. 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 All right, Holmes. Great job tonight. Great on the fly call to have JP ask us the questions. I like the Q and A sesh from uh, JP. We'll be doing that again live from the Bass Lab. Hold on, check this out. Live from the Bass Lab. I'm going to show you. There it is, man. You see the little neon sign? That's right. Live from that. Look at that swim bait, Rick. Oh man, Whew. take on a live tour one day. Not. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody cares. Just throw All jig right. head minnows, man. Be we got to go. We got to go. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I love what you go. say. We gotta go. See, we gotta peace, go. bro. We gotta go. All right, man.